fucking bits. What's up, Hobby Maniacs? I'm Robbie B, and this is the Hobby Report, your weekly tabletop resource to help keep your hobby muscle strong. <clears throat> How's everybody doing tonight? It's a, it's a very, very cold Monday night here at the Beats Laboratory, the Cat Command Center in Fayetteville, North Carolina. I just uh, I scared my cat, so he, he jumped off me. And I, there's, there's hair everywhere in the air. I don't know if you guys can see it. <laughs> oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. What's going on? Let's see who all's in here. Lots of folks. Warlander. Maddie with the fatty. Next level painting. Stay stealth. Welcome, everybody. It's going to be a great show tonight. Mystic Scorpion. What's up, dog? It's going to be a great show to note for you folks. We're going to finish up some uh, hobbying after, of course, the uh, the hobby news. Because I don't know if you guys heard, but there's like a really big model coming out here soon. I don't know, some Lord of Change or something. Who knows? <laughs> it's going to be pretty dope. I can't wait for that one. If you are new to what we got going on here at Spiky Bits TV, uh, Exclamation point info will get you everything you need to know on how to cash in those catnaps for following or for watching the show. We will be doing uh, raffles for every $250 in donations we get. And if you haven't already seen here, let's see, we've got that. Ah, that's not going to work. <laughs> we are giving away the some of the armored assault box sets for Warhammer 40k tonight so that's going to be a super good one now let me show you guys what we got going on here with this so the fantastic cat box giveaway is back like I said every $250 in donations we will raffle out off one of these where you guys can pick either snowy the white cat missy the orange cat or my favorite Pinky. PC load letter? What does that mean? Nightmare 13, thank you for the follow. You've just earned yourself a fantastic cat nap. So, like I said, behind one of these cats, oops, behind one of these cats will be one of these fantastic prizes. Uh, three of the Armored Assault, the Space Marine ones. I think there's a Cadian one in there too. Yeah, nope, that's Dark Angels. So we got Blood Angels, Space Wolves. And Dark Angels, which Dark, Dark Angels one is a sleeper savings right there because it comes with the uh, the Dark Angel accessory sprue, which is pretty pretty good value in my humble opinion. Uh, then the one next to it is the Dirty Dirty Xenos Armored Assault Prize Pack. That is a Eldar, Orcs, and Dirty Dirty Necrons. And if you're lucky or not lucky, I guess depending on what you're trying trying to win, perhaps. You will get a fantastic Games Workshop book bundle, which consists of the Masterclass Series 2 book, the Space Marine Crusade Army List Red Book, the current one, of course, and a fantastic copy of Warhammer 40k The Rules mini, super mini rule book right there. And you can follow along at home with the, the cat box giveaway there at the bottom of the screen. There's a little fantastic bar that will keep track of it all evening. All right, back to business. So that's what we got going on for the giveaways. And, of course, there is a top donator giveaway. Let's go back to that. Top donator giveaway tonight will fetch themselves three of the Mark, well, three squads. It's 30 Mark III Marines on Sprue from the Burning Up Prospero. All right. So that's what's happening here. Of course, hit exclamation point gallery to be part of the show. We will... Check out all of your work in progress miniatures as well as answer any questions you have about painting. Make sure you say at Spiky Bits TV so it pops up in red. Yeah, why can't you? So hopefully I will see it there. Crooked Pite. Pite? P I T E. <laughs> Thank you for the follow. What's going on? All right. So, like I said, there's, a, there's actually a lot going on in the world of the Warhams. Now, we do have a big giveaway at the end of the month. We will be raffling off the Night Porphyrion 
So a lot of people are saving their cat naps for that one, maybe. I don't know. Like I said, cat naps are easy to get. You can watch the whole show every three hours. It nets you one cat nap. Or you can purchase them for $5. Or you earn one by following. And I can tell right now, looking at my cat command center control panel, I know there's at least 20 people watching that aren't following us. Tis tis. Couldn't make it any easier for you all. All right. So we got that going on. I think it's January 30th, Monday, our Monday night stream. Our Monday night is our main night where we do the hobby rapport, which is basically covering everything that happened over the weekend, giving you the insight on all the new tabletop hotness. Then on Tuesday nights, this is our beta schedule, of course, Tuesday nights at 11 p.m. Eastern, 8 p.m. For those of you in, stuck in the past in Pacific, like Kenny and Slow Fuse. You gotta give me a ride. Way too big to drive to the devil's house. Yeah, Yo, you can't talk like that when the when the lion gets here. <laughs> Warboy87, thank you for the donation. It is never too soon. <laughs> never, ever, ever. So those of you wanting to watch the show tomorrow, that's our late night. That's our adult swim, our Robbie B and Chill, it's where we go from 11 p.m. to 2 a.m. Don't ask me how I do it. I'm still not sure of myself. I am a crazy person. And then on Fridays, we have our midday for all of our European friends from 3, I think it's 3.30 to 6.30 Eastern. And we are the Long War Locomotive then pulling into the, pulling everybody along, can, kicking it over to Kenny and then Slow Fuse in the evening as well. So Caboose Night's tomorrow, Locomotive Night, that is Friday night. So it's going to be a, another good week here. We're going to finish up Mr. Karn. Mr. The Betrayer, tonight so I'm going to show you some base tech, some highlight tech, and then I think we're going to jump on a new project tomorrow, super secret, I'm not going to tell you what it is quite yet, but it's big, it's Age of Sigmar, it's probably not what you think it is, it's going to be good. Faux show. If you strike out on any of our giveaways, you can always check us out over on Patreon, that's patreon.com forward slash spikybits. To get your chance at a monthly swag box of awesome, allegedly awesome, there's an asterisk of awesome, and we have a new promotion every every month, so it's good stuff going on over there to help support the show, what PC we do. Load letter. What does that mean? Talks with hands, thank you for the follow. I don't know what to do with my hands. I need an adult to tell me what to do with my hands. <laughs> So check out Patreon to help support all of the great video tutorials, the website, everything we do here. It is a good time, and we always give back to everyone that supports us. Over on the Long War, that's our stream team as well as our lifestyle. <laughs> that's the longwar.net. We have had a lot going on. Of course, we're back in the swing of things. we got Kenny with his fantastic tutorial. We've got another great battle report this time age of sigmar out this week and of course we got slow fuse working on his kingdom death and dark age miniatures so this is the current on youtube right now you can check it out ogres but not right now wait till after the show ogres versus savannah i'm doing my part i'm doing my part, I'm doing my part too all right x Zashmonix? Zashamonix? <laughs> Thank you for the follow. Uh, Tim the Great, you did not miss the free crack giveaway. Not yet, anyways. <laughs> I know what you guys are thinking. You're looking at me, and you're like, Robbie B, you're looking, you're looking pretty swole there. You can't even like tie a tie and stuff. The truth is, I actually have multiple sets of clothing on tonight, because it is freaking cold here. It is super cold. Like, I am cold. I don't normally get cold. I've been living in the South too long. I've lost my edge. But I have multiple layers. I have multiple layers of pants on. If you can guess how many how many pants I actually have on today, you will win a no prize. <laughs> All right. So this is the video that's dropped live on YouTube on the Long War channel. It is my ogres, actually, versus my good friend John Yee's Sylvanith. It was a knockdown drag out fight. It's going to be a good one to watch. Live, if you are a veteran of the Long War, of course, and get that early access, we have Arooks versus Corn. Mr. Felix is battling Mr. Wind on the tabletop. Oh, we got some guesses coming in for how many pants I have on. I'll let you guys keep guessing. Oh, there's a lot there. I don't. 
Somebody guessed one and one half pants. Like, how do you have a half a pants? Is that a boxer? Does it, I need to know because that that actually goes into my calculations. This point is is boxers point five pants or are they one pants? I need to know that. We need to we need to get a ruling on that one. <laughs> so this is the current, and this is the early access, and then of course I dropped a little making autumn leaves tutorial. Because would you believe that it's actually hard to find those little mini autumn leaves? I don't know if you've seen. Uh, of course, I don't have any handy. If you've seen them in my tutorials, they're great. They're amazing. I love these things. But it turns out they're super hard to find nowadays. So you can get birch seed spacers. Spacers, right? And you can, once you separate them out, if you got to buy bullet birch, birch seed, whatever, it's just the pine cones literally separated, and they separate into these little, like, seeds and spacers. And you want the spacers. That's what you want. So you take the spacers, and then what happens is, you just basically put them in a box and you just spray them and they turn all the different colors. I, I think that's how they make them too. But apparently there's like a worldwide shortage on like birch seed spacers right now. But if you can find just the plain ones, I show you in like five seconds because I wanted to go drink on New Year's how to make them. It's a fantastic tutorial. Heartwarming tale of Robbie B and his friends quest to get drunk on New Year's Eve slash hobby. <laughs> and Kenny's got... Easily probably going to be his second most watched video over on YouTube. Now, this isn't on YouTube yet. This is early access, first look, over on thelongwar.net. Easy Airbrush Hacks Volume 2. This is, I mean, if you have seen Airbrush Hacks number 1, this one is going to be just as good. It's an amazing video. It's going to do well. If you have ever thought about getting an airbrush or you currently have an airbrush and are frustrated by it, Check out both of those videos. Of course, this one will drop in about two weeks over on YouTube. But if you can't, if you can't wait, you gotta have it now. <laughs> you can become a veteran of the Long War by going to thelongwar.net and signing up over there for a free seven days. And then you can cancel if you want. We don't mind. It's all good in the hood. All right, so let's see what everybody's guess is. Did we get a ruling on the boxers? Is that 0.5 or one whole pants? Hmm. No one guessed. I'm pretty sure everybody guessed. I do not have clam diggers on. I don't even know what those are. Boxers are negative pants. Oh, wow. Okay. Only one leg left or right. It could be a gluten ration or pride. That's, that's, that's probably what it is. I assure you no glutens were eaten today. I would know. All right, well, assuming that boxers are 0.5 pants, I have exactly 2.5 pants on right now, <laughs> plus socks. Socks count. Socks definitely count. <laughs> uh, it is cold here. No joke. I moved out of the north, and I lost my edge. Oh, I didn't bring... Oh, I didn't get Jason's. I'm the worst. Give me one second. I need to get... Mr. Slow Fuse's work in progress. I went and I downloaded it. And I was like, I'm going to talk about what he's been working on. And then I didn't even put it in here. I'm 100% the worst. I cannot believe I did that. There they are. Of course, it's going to probably be too big. Yep, too big. Too big. All right, there it is. This is what Slow Fuse, Mr. Jason, over at Slow Fuse Gaming has been working on. Of course, he's got some dope Kingdom Death models right there. I couldn't tell you which ones those are, but they look fantastic. And some of those Dark Age miniatures that he's been working on. Looks like he's got one of them done and some of the baby ones almost done. Those are looking fresh. And, of course, you can check him out. This, the whole schedule, type in exclamation point long war, and you can check out the whole schedule for when we all stream. Also, if you are a streamer and you want... Thank you for the host. Can't tell who that was. We are all sorts of the worst today. Twitch alerts, go. Not sure... The host was. Let's see. Let's check. In three. Let me see. Two. One. Is this a five o'clock free crack giveaway? 
<laughs> soon. Very soon. Oh, next little painting hosted us. Thanks, Kenny. I know you're on your lunch break. Granite79, thank you for the donation. Snowpocalypse, yes, it did barely miss us. It's still cold here, though. Still very, very cold. <laughs> Oh, uh, it like it snowed close to us. I was like, well, how did it not snow here? I don't even know. Like, no joke. Like, apparently, I don't know if you guys are like where you're from, but there was a run on bread and milk at Walmart. Like, I was the stupid, me and Mr. James, we went up there because I was like, well, I guess I should buy some food just in case. PC load letter. What does that mean? Tyranade and Jer Toshkeden. Toshkin? Thank you for the follows. What does that mean? Thank you for the follows. So we went up to Walmart. And we walked down the bread aisle. And no joke. Like, there was people in the bread aisle. Like, just scratching their heads. The bread aisle was wiped out. We're talking about an aisle that's like 40 feet long. Of just bread. And at the very end, the very end, the organic stuff and, and all the things that are like, you know, mildly good for you, but slightly expensive. So like nobody buys it sold out. I mean, it was no, it was all there. But the rest of the bread was sold out. And I was like, it's so funny because, I mean, like if you pay a couple bucks more, you can get a loaf of bread. But people were like, what do I do? Ah, uh, what do I do? Yeah, <laughs> I was like, you could just buy the good bread. At least you could eat bread. I got to go to the other aisle. And I got to eat the stupid people bread that's in the freezer. It's like eight bucks a loaf. <laughs> and it's mildly good. Mildly. It's just good enough that uh, for human consumption. <laughs> uh, your your Bolio116, thank you for the follow. We're going down all of the stuff, running down the stuff that's going on with the Long War. Like I was saying, exclamation point, Long War, that'll get you over to the Facebook group. If you're an up-and-coming streamer, just want to pr promote your paint service, whatever, feel free to make posts in there once a day. Tell us about what you're doing. Keep us updated on your projects when you stream, etc., etc. You can also see our stream schedule for myself, Jason Craze, and Kenny over at Next Level Painting. Soon to be Mike Caspel. The, the world famous author of Midnight, what is it, Midnight Midnight Report? I'm doing my terrible. part. I'm I doing my part. This. I'm doing my part too. Soon to be a nationwide bestseller. Bilbo Swaggins. Best name in the history of ever. Thank you for I'm the follow. I'm doing my part. I'm doing my part. I'm doing my part too. I have no idea. What is it? Nia Grappling 101? I think I said that right. I'm sorry. I'm bad with these names. I'm an old person. I don't know how I pronounce things. And I'm from the South. I got it going against me. Thank you for the follow. All right. Let's see what's going on here with everybody. Graveyard Shift. I am the worst. I'm sorry, Mike. Please forgive me. Soon to be world famous author, Mike Haspel will be streaming shortly. Oh, Stay Stell says. They sell out of bread, eggs, and milk because everyone knows when it snows, you have to have French toast. Obviously. I don't know how I didn't She's know that. Old letter. What does that mean? Uh, Dorn Jr., thank you for the follow. How close are we? I, we were close to getting 1,930, accor according to the Twitch tracker, which may or may not be accurate. I'd say that's plus or minus two. That would be really neat if we could get to a thousand followers tonight on air. That would be so dope. I'll tell you what, I will find, it may not be a cat, but I will find something super special to do a free keyword giveaway. If we get to a thousand followers tonight on air, so tell your friends, pick up the phone, keep watching, but share this out on the interwebs, the interconnected series of tubes. And if we get there, I'll make it. I'll make it drizzle. Make it drizzle. Drizzle with something nice. A new high score. <laughs> what does high score mean? New high score. Is that bad? What does that mean? Oh, Tim the Great. Thank you for the donation. I love. I love that. I love that meme. Grandma's boy. If you haven't watched it, you really should. Donovan, KG, 
kilogram. Yeah, I want candy boobs. And Necroblood, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the Spiky Bits TV Hobby Rapport. You just earned yourself fantastic cat naps for all the, the raffles we do on here. Currently, we're sitting at $60 for the cat box giveaway, which may be... Actually, i got to shuffle those. I left them in the same spots. <laughs> Can't let you guys cheat. I shouldn't have told you that either. You wouldn't even know. Ah, uh, so many mistakes tonight. Graveyard shift and shuffle cat boxes. Got it. Hmm. Mystic Scorpion. Yeah, people are crazy. Who needs bread and butter? Who needs bread? Just bread. Just butter is fine. Alone. Well, it is gluten free. I can't argue with you there. It is delicious. Still one more name. I do not care about bread. I made the mistake of going <laughs> going down the bread aisle. Oh, I should mention, Stay Stealth got me this belated uh, Christmas present. Christmas birthday present. It is uh, a black cat authentic silk tie. It's very, it's very classy. Very classy. I wish I could button this, but I have too many shirts on. I have a Nyan cat, or no, this is Pusheen. Got a Pusheen shirt on. Actually, Stay Stealth, or not Stay Stealth, but uh, still one more name might recognize this little unicorn Pusheen. It's pretty dope. I'm just trying to stay warm, guys. Like, the plate is real here. <laughs> it defeats laboratory. Uh, this one time, a friend came over to my house, and they were playing. They were playing in a beach lab, and he he runs a little hot. He's a, he's 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 a he's a stocky fella. I don't want to say fat because he's got he's got some biceps. He's got some hobby muscles. He works out. He lifts he lifts a lot of paint paint bottles. And he's like, yeah, bro, can you turn the AC on? I was like, man, turn it on yourself. Just help yourself. I don't care. Next morning, no joke. I was freezing. It was like 63, 60 in here. And I was like, what is going on? Is it cold outside? Like, I'm like looking out the windows. The sun is shining. Like, birds are chirping. Everybody's like chipper, going to work at the right time. Nobody's late. Because I can tell when everybody's late around here. Because everybody's like running around, stomping. To drive to the devil's house. Drive, Marky, drive! <laughs> Greggy O, thank you for the donation. So like I was saying, I was freezing. I was so cold. I couldn't even feel my fingertips. Like Siri didn't recognize my command. She's like, she's like, you need to type in your passcode. I was like, I am typing in my passcode. She's like, you're not a human. You have no pulse. And I'm like, I don't know what's going on right now. And I go over and I look at the thermostat. And it's like, uh, it says, it doesn't, it doesn't convey a number. It says I'm minimum, I'm and I'm part. like, what is minimum? Like, I'm doing my part I need an accurate readout. Like, how cold is it right now? <laughs> I go and open the door to the patio, and it's so much warmer. It's like 20 degrees warmer outside, and I was like, I'm going to kill Mr. Felix. I'm going to kill him, and I was like, I call him up. I was like, Felix, I love you, man. Never touch another man's thermostat and not turn it back, but I was freezing. It is not that cold right now, but it is still cold. On a consistent basis, which I have no control over, <laughs> but we're gonna get past it. But uh, next little painting says lunch break ended an hour ago. What kind of lunch breaks do you take? Uh, like thirty minutes to an hour. It's like a it's like a leisurely lunch break. <laughs> uh, Gothmog says pants aren't cumulative. You only get the highest modifier. Are you sure? Because I feel I feel a little puffy. I feel like they are cumulative. <laughs> oh. Warlander TV says, I just guess zero pants. I imagine your heat is cranked. So I was thinking about doing that. But it's so cold here, I think I would blow up the H the HVAC thing outside. Shorts would be 0.5s. Okay, so so we we're accurate. We're at 2.5 pants then. <laughs> uh Warboy87 says, can't you buy a whole punch designed to make little leaves? There is a there's a really great company. I think it's called I want to say it's like I forget what it is now. I want to say it was like Green Stuff Scenics. Not not Green Stuff Industries. That's a, that's another guy that makes those great molds uh, that you can roll out wires and such. I want to say there is something like that out there, but I don't know what it is, and I need to research it and share it with everybody. Because I remember seeing it at some point, and now it's gone. It is, it is gone. It has escaped me. Don't blame the South. Oh. I can't help it. Uh, 
All right. So let's go in. Oh, one more thing I wanted to I want to mention you guys too. Half pants caught on. <laughs> G Finnegan, you are a trendsetter. Congratulations. So something about the catnaps too. Like I I realize that I realize that folks, you can you can get multiple accounts to get follows and get catnaps. I can't do anything about it. I can see when you're doing it. I have the technology. It, it things line up. I can see who's who and stuff in here. But I'm not getting hate on that. Now, if you donate from different accounts and forget that you're logged in, I can't do anything for you. So going forward, make sure you're logged in on the right account, please. Because we had a little snafu the other night, and I had to I gotta basically send out two sets of things to people. So we're not gonna do that in the future. So everybody be cool. I realize you can kind of game the system a little bit, but at the end of the day, let's all be cool and respectable about it. I realize toy soldiers are a way of life, but let's not lose our minds too bad, please. All right, let's talk about, actually, let's hit up the gallery. Get some gallery stuff over there. Let me double check. Monitor two, go. Oh yeah, we got some work in progress. Oh, I see something pink. You know I'm all about that. All right, let's go check that out. Raffle layer. Of course it's on raffle layer. Why wouldn't it be on raffle layer? There we go. All right. What we got in here? Let's approve some things. You can hit exclamation point gallery to be part of the show. We'll check out your stuff. Ask me any questions. It can be finished. can be not finished. Make sure you put your name on it to get credit for your work. You gotta give me a ride. I'm way too big to drive to the Dallas house. Drive, <laughs> monkey, drive! Hood's Gate is paying it forward. <laughs> I know what you're doing there. Hood's Gate was our big winner Friday night. Got a was it Friday? I don't even know anymore. I think it was Friday. Got himself a Knight Atropos Titan. All that stuff will be going out in the mail tomorrow because I didn't want to bother with it with the snow coming in and everything. Everybody buying up all the bread. Obviously, there was going to be some confliction at the post office. PC load letter. What does that mean? The Afflicted One is now our follower. Thank you. You have earned yourself one fantastic cat nap. All right, well, I don't know what this is, and I think it was from a different show, but that's okay. Whoever Ray is, I like his style. <laughs> All right, so first off, I like I like what you did with the chicken nugget in the, uh, in the ketchup up there at the top of the screen. Very nice. And the, uh, the use of... The use of VHS boxes for a for a prop also very very classy. I'm totally tracking along this, but I definitely like these colors. It looks like a big crazy pink horror that can fly with some gemstones. Definitely digging that. All about some pink painted things. Green stuff world. That's it. Psychotic Jester just said he got his Terminators he won mm, a week or so ago, I think. We try to get it out there. Alright, that's a pretty good one. Bitsy, actually, I think these are from on the show. This is, it looks like some close ups of some of that stuff Slow Fuse is working on, the Dark Age minis. Man, I'll tell you what, Slowfuse has got it going on with all this edge highlighting, these crazy fades up in the cracks. Love that glazing. The British Pete says another stream made. Thank you. Thanks for showing up. Glad you could work it in. I'll let you guys in a little secret for all those frantically collecting catnaps. We start 30 minutes early, start the countdown clock, and I think that counts. Pretty sure. Let me go look. I'm pretty sure that counts towards the time that you accumulate catnaps. Yeah, it does. 
So a little, little buffer there in case you can't stay the whole show or something. So Mystic Scorpion says, is it okay if some of the chrome is coming off the inside of the HPCS? Not exactly flaking, but I guess from cleaning. So this is a common problem for a lot of people. It actually happened to me. Hold on a sec. I want to go over here to the... Let's jump over to the paint table real quick. This is an important, important lesson for a lot of people. So this is my backup HPCS right here, which you can see is completely, utterly stripped down here. And this is from a combination of using bristles or using brush, um, this is cat hair, of course, <laughs> using brush, uh, like bristles that were metal that actually scraped away the chrome and also using cleaners that weren't good for it. Okay. So you have to be super careful with what you're using as far as that goes. Also dipping this in a sonic cleaner is not good because it actually separates all of this insides at the molecular level. Now, this isn't as big of a problem as, well, I actually tightened that pretty tight. <laughs> My hobby muscle so strong, so strong. There we go. Pull this back here. Try not to stab myself in any way, which I'm prone to do. Sometimes I call myself a professional, but really just trying not to mess up just like everybody else. Oh, I don't have it. Oh, there it is. So what you really want to worry about is this brass fitting in here. And a lot of times what I do is I just keep mine soaking in a little vat of, of airbrush cleaner. Now, you got a couple of options here on airbrush cleaner. That's not it. This is it. Airbrush cleaner from Vallejo comes in a big bottle. You can get this for about anywhere from 10 to 15 bucks online or in stores. This is great to mix with water. You can also use the Grex stuff, which is not good. You need to cut this. It's also con ultra concentrated. So you need to cut this with water, very much so. So just a little bit of this, 10, 10 to 1 on that to clean things out. Another thing you can do too is get you the airbrush cleaning kit from uh, TCP Global, actually. I think I have one around here. But the big thing that I want to talk to you guys about too, or I want to mention at least in passing, is get you a little dowel. I, can't, I couldn't exactly tell you what size this is, but some of the best ways to get this little brass fitting out of here is to use the, a dowel that exactly fits it. I managed to find one. And usually if it's not caked in there, which like I said, this is my backup, so I probably haven't cleaned it in years. I can't get it out but if this was clean if this was my current airbrush I could just pop it right out with minimum effort so just something to be aware of right there it's all about the cleaners and using plastic bristled brushes on your uh, on your airbrush itself now is this a, is this an issue kind of paint will paint will catch in there a little bit more than what you're used to but if you get yourself some pluck foam, just from, you know, uh, Sable, I think this is Sable, it might be Battle Foam, I don't know. And you just get in there with a little bit of water when you're cleaning, you can really get a lot of that work done. Part of that airbrush cleaning kit is this little poofy plastic bristle brush. It doesn't look like much, but this gets in there and it does the Lord's work on your brush. So these are, these are just some little tips to keep everything clean. And obviously watch out for cat hair. When you're, uh, if you guys want to see me unbox a cleaning kit, I think I actually have a spare one I could pull out maybe later in the show. Let me know in the comments. I'll show y'all what all comes in that. But so that is, that's the old one. And then this is the current one, which I've done a little bit better with, with keeping clean, obviously. There are some scratches in there. I don't, I don't, I honestly don't know what it's from. They might just be superficial, but. It's, I've had this one for about two years now, taking a lot better care of it after I noticed with this brush what was happening. So there is that. You just have to be a little bit more cognizant when you're cleaning the inside here because paint will catch more on that. So that is basically what 
what happens when you, you know, um, make a few mistakes on your on your cleaning and protecting of your airbrush there. But it's overall, it's not a big deal, to be quite honest. Uh, just be cognizant of it. You got to do some more cleaning. All right, let's go back to the gallery. Okay. Or Pride says, "He <laughs> wish you could get cold enough for pants in Utah." Yeah, that sounds like a pleasant place to live. <laughs> Is there a white dwarf delay? I certainly think so. I don't know what's going on. I haven't even got mine yet. I'm about to call GW and be like, "Hey, I've gotten a few of these, but I feel like I would like to spend my money elsewhere. Can we do an exchange or something?" Hierarchy says, Receive Sisters of Silence. Thank you. You are quite welcome. Thank you for watching. Gabrielle Top Spider, Mark II or Mark III armor for Iron Warriors? I'm considering either are perfectly acceptable, to be quite honest. Hoodsgate says, Out of curiosity, the big night giveaway at the end of the month. How many catnaps per ticket? I do not know yet. It will be more than one. It will be less than ten. That's all, that's all I know at the current time. Tim the Great says, cats influence everything. It's true, they do. Mystic Scorpion says, I only use Q-tips and I want a cleaner. Huh. I don't know then. That is really weird. If that's doing, if that's doing that to the inside of the brush, maybe the Q-tips aren't... Um, maybe the, the, the paper, the core underneath it scratching, maybe... Gosh, that's weird. Killing Tom Painting, would you use chrome polish to help with the erosion on the inside of the cup? I could not tell you if that will work or not. I try not to put anything that isn't paint, water, or some sort of cleaner that I feel confident in inside the, uh, the reservoir there. Player Jiplication, hey Rob, what's up doll? Please unbox the cleaning kit. Okay, we can take a look at that a little later. Looks like some folks got the white doors too. I have never used Simple Green uh, to clean my airbrush. I used Purple Power on the one that did get damaged, which is pretty much like the same thing, but I'm not sure uh, how similar they are there. Oh, Agent Arrow says that that, uh, that cleaner strip, the chrome right off his too. That's not good. I have been using, like I said, testimonial, the Vallejo stuff and the Grex stuff watered down for two years. And I haven't had any damage to mine. So, I mean, I feel like that works. All right, Mystic Scorpion. I don't know what this is, but I like the model. <laughs> it reminds me of what that, that Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle guy there. He got a nice, solid flesh base coat there. And flesh is so hard to put down. You saw how hard it was to do the bone detail on Karn we've been doing here. But that's, uh, that's a great start. Nice, solid details. Plenty of room to go back in and get your wash and your detail work on. Hyper highlight all that crazy purple. Looks like he's got a crown and he's wearing purple, so obviously he's royalty. Greggy O, work in progress. Let's see some dark Eldar. Oh yeah. Look at that glyph. Oh wow, you airbrushed that? That's crazy, Mystic Scorpion. I couldn't even tell. You have got to be one of the most accurate airbrushers I've ever seen. Oh, the flesh. You airbrush the flesh. Okay, I can kind of see it up top here. That's probably a smarter way to do flesh, just because it doesn't stick as much with the brush. Hey, 
SPS is saying, I've used Simple Green for two years, no issues. HS Infinity and Evolution. Alright. Word. I guess it really just comes down to, you know, what you're comfortable with. Everybody uses different stuff, you know. I guess that's a whole individual results will, mar will vary. Alright, let's check out this Raider. Nice, solid base coat, of course. Good colors, good bone. Got in those cracks there to get that definition. See a few spots you gotta go back on, but obviously not finished. I like that glyph. That's some serious freehand right there. Circles are very hard to do. Nice brass on the gun. Very cool stuff. Red snore. Land O the the Urch <laughs> the Urch Magi. <laughs> Thank you for the follow. How close are we? Are we even close? Nine forty three. Nice. All right. We are closer. Everybody, spread the word. Resnor. Oh, I remember this guy. He's super old. I think this was the limited edition one. Very cool. Oh, yeah. That's solid bone. Very cool stuff there. Oh, stencil work. Okay. Still looks great. Gregio. It's very solid. It didn't spread out or nothing. Good job. I love the plasma effect on this plasma uh, coils up here. The glow is tight. Um, so, uh, the thing with the gallery, here, let me type it in real quick. So the gallery, just so you got the link, you won't see it. I have to approve it. I don't think it says it in there because usually I say it out loud. Uh, so you only have to upload it once. And I will go in and approve it. That's great work, Resner. I see you got a cipher up here too. All right, lots and lots of detail here on this Heldrake. Looking good. That will take you a very long time, Warlander. Oh, it's still in the process. I think we saw that before. Did you, did you do more on it? And there's cipher. Warhammer 40k, 10,000 year reigning hide and seek champion. <laughs> Yeah, it's a solid green, solid green, a uh, black green, almost a Dark Angels green, you could say. Just enough to be legit. Oh, it's the oh, it's the Battle Force guy. I remember that. Either way, it looks dope. Yeah, this is looking great. Cypher's such a cool guy to have painted up. What bases did you use there? Those the uh, the plastic GDL ones. Bobby Jojo, Skitari, what did it say, Duders? I like that, it's a technical term, they're Duders. Now that's something I haven't seen before, some yellow Skitari, and they look great. You pull it off great with the contrast with the black and the silver. Looking good. And I like the gold you used there too, that really popped with it. Heck yeah. Remember Warlander, Kenny charges like at least $2 to paint a model like that. <laughs> so it should probably take you at least five hours to do it. <laughs> These are great. I love the cork details or the cork bases. And uh, I don't, I can't place that color, that brown. It's like a greenish brown on the rifle barrels. Are those aquabus? I forget. They look great. Good job. Let me know what color that is. It's pimp. All right. Get back to some some news. Been dying to talk about some stuff here. Made the bases with cardstock from the boxes of G. Oh, okay, cool. Tracking. They look great. All right, if you are just tuning in right now, we are 
say about I'm doing my part. Halfway I'm doing my part. Years. I'm doing my part too. Shed shed derp. Shed derp. <laughs> Thank you for the follow. And rising blue wyvern too, it looks like. Yeah, I want to you boobs. I'm a I'm from the future. I can see things. Thank you for the follow. All right, let's see how many lurkers we got. There's still there is exactly 22 lurkers that aren't following us. In three, I can see you. Two, one. Is this a five o'clock free crack giveaway? Gosh, I wish it was. So close. Blue Canary 76. Thank you for the donation. We are inching ever so closer to a cat box giveaway. I think it's pretty much customary by now that I'll do a shot of, of your choice of juice at uh at a hundred dollars in total donations. I think uh I think I need to warm up. <laughs> help me help you. <laughs> uh, all right, let's talk about some some stuff that's near and dear to a lot of people's hearts. Some sisters of battle. Well, sort of. So this week will mark the very first release of Plastic Sisters. Celestine and her Gemini twin bodyguards, not the Yin Yang twins. There's something completely different. They're dirty. They're dirty. They're out of the South. <laughs> Inquisitor Greyfax and of course Bella Belisarius. Cowl, cowl, cowl. That big pimp right there. I can't tell what base he's on. I think it's on the cavalry base. I do not think that is a Dread Knight base. Here, let's let's blow it up real quick. Wait, that is not it. <laughs> Mistakes were made. Here, how about that? What do you guys think? What size base do you think that pimp's on? I like how they perfectly covered it up with their the little dry ice effects, which are pretty pimp, by the way. I think that's the cavalry base, like the big one. I do not think that's a dread knight. Maybe it is. Maybe we're all just about to be blown away at how big this guy really is. I will, uh, I will eat my hat if I had one not have one but this will be out this saturday 80 dollars retail here in the states looks to be a really cool set now they came on a little hot this afternoon they dropped some rules hints for inquisitor gray fax gray fox shadow fax and she is very similar to the Colexus assassin which is really interesting so that's going to be a whole thing, uh, especially when you got the Sisters of Silence all running around doing their thing. So it's really going to come down to point value here. Of course, they didn't tell us all the rules because we got to have something to buy the book for, which, by the way, is $50 retail here in the States. The Fall Acadia, the very first In the Gathering Storm series, which is right here. Oh, this is the collector set. So the collector set, strangely enough, is actually sold out in the States. 145 retail sold out. I don't think there was any savings because it got 80 plus 50 plus the cards. That's no savings. There was no savings. And it sold out. So I guess people just wanted that one that one button, that one-click bundle just to scoop them up. Now they're saying that the Storm cards are basically something that you can play with. They go along with uh, affecting the Psychic chart and like, you know, um, uh, warp charges and things like that, but also can affect games too. So I feel like from that description it's almost like additional rules kind of like if you want to play death from the skies you got additional flyer rules so it's really kind of remains to be seen if that's going to be part of you know 40k games like itc competitive play etc etc but definitely for weekend games with your friends it's going to be dope it's who knows what will happen it's like basically everybody just got a demon uh a demon chart to roll on during their games and there is Mr. Abaddon, which we've heard from several different sources that he will be getting a new model at some point. It will not be a demon model. Supposedly it's a going to be a plastic redo, Primark size, so 54 millimeters, based on the Billy Badass uh, Forge World guy, Forge World Primark. So take that with a grain of salt or 10. But if it happens, I'm all, I'm down for it because. That Buster Abaddon, after seeing what they did with Karn and Aramon, yo, for real, give us an Abaddon. Give us some new rules too, but I'll just take I'll just take a new Abaddon, right? 
Now, I don't know how closely you guys, I mean, we're all, we're all busy people, right? We're all, I, I think we're all busy people. And I don't know if you guys saw this over the weekend, but there's like this new picture that came out. I'm just going to put it up here. I don't know if anybody saw it. Maybe you can tell me what it is. It looks like, it looks like something zinch. That's kind of what I, that's kind of what I figure it is. I'm not exactly 100% sure. So they, uh, Games Workshop came in hot on a Sunday, on a Sunday afternoon, a quiet Sunday afternoon, dropped this brand spanking new teaser image of what is obviously a Lord of Change on everybody. And the internet, I knew we were recording, we were actually recording a battle report. It was me and Juice and uh, soon to be revealed Riley. And my phone blew up. And usually when that happens, it's either a woman, for obvious reasons, or <laughs> or something happened on the internet. Obviously, something happened on the internet. And I was like, oh, what's this? PC load letter? What does that mean? Zed Zedicus? Zedicus, if I'm saying that wrong, please forgive me. <laughs> Thank you for the follow. Welcome to Spiky Bits TV. Next level, next level painting says large cap. I think so, too. I think it's the large cavalry. It's looking fresh, though. So, phone blew up. I knew something was happening. Couldn't get to it. Barked out a couple of orders to some of my some of my helper cats. And we, yeah, we got to it. We got it up there. So, what do you guys think of this model? Like, uh, are you willing to are, are you willing to pick this one up? I know all, I know all you crazy people out there got that Magnus. If you got Magnus, I feel like you owe it to yourself to pick this up. I feel like it's gonna be good. We'll, get, we'll run down uh, run down the comments here, see what everybody thinks. Battle Force Limited Edition. Resner, I'm not sure what you're talking about there. Let me know. John Bingham has been playing the Star Wars Destiny game with kids on your recommendation. Thanks. It's good fun. It is. It's a great game. It is It is going places. Fantasy Flight has another hit. Warlander TV says, yeah, a ton of detail, a ton of work to go into that model. I think he's talking about the Hellgrate. Yes. It's crazy. Ask me why I haven't painted a Hellgrate. That's why. <laughs> Tim the Great says, what are we drinking tonight? Well, we have the... We had the fantastic uh, big three, the three horsemen, the three cats of the apocalypse. We've got beast juice, pirate juice, and actually this isn't the big three. Turkey juice is missing. I only have I have cactus juice, and I, and then there's nothing wrong with that. Next little painting says, show them the new emotes and badge. Oh, I was trying to keep that a surprise. PC load letter. What does that mean? Damon Dog, thank you for the follow. Uh, can I do that? Do you guys, do you guys want to see the new emotes? We are in the process of becoming a pay, uh, partner over on Twitch. So Kenny worked very hard on the three Catmen of the Apocalypse. Let me see if I can find them here. Overlay. Where are they? Emotes. Emotes. Now, how can I show you this? All right, we're just going to raw dog it. Bear with me here. Actually, I think I can. We need a display capture, window capture. There we go. Now you can see, I think. All right, so we raw dogged that one. But here you go. Let's make this bigger. These are the emotes for the channel. We got the we got the Olay cat, two different varieties. I I kind of like the one with the uh, the sombrero right there. What do you guys think? I'm pretty I'm pretty excited about that one. That's for a cactus cat. 
And then, of course, we've got the channel, the stream icon here, the maniac, so everybody could have a maniac in front of their names. Boom. And then, of course, we've got Pirate Cat. Yar. <laughs> so, this will just be to start out, but what do you guys think of those? They, they're fresh or what? Yar. <laughs> Killing Time says he's working on his own conversion of the Lord of Change out of a zombie dragon. There you go. <laughs> Blue Canary says it looks like Magnus. And a Lord of Change had a baby. Uh, yes, yes it does. And it's it's amazing looking. This thing is so fresh. Oh, you put it in Discord? You sneaky git. Hey, do you, I got got. Display the catkin. <laughs> uh, well, there you go. Let me know what you think. Dealer of Death said, I was there when FFG released the game. We're talking about Star Wars Destiny. They had Timothy Zahn there, and that Grad Admiral Thrawn will be in the game later on. Oh, that's cool. Lord Crusader, we will be talking about the Sea Rock, or the Ciroc, however you want to say it. Both are correct, or Crocs. The new X Wing ship. All of them are nice. Everybody seems to like them. Make sure you hype up Mr. Kenny. He helped me with that. Couldn't have done it without him. I mean, I could have done it, but it would have taken like 10 times more longer. And it wouldn't have looked as good. I told him that to you. I was like, I don't need you. I can do it myself. He's like, all right, fine. I was like, I totally need you. Come back. <laughs> he called my bluff. Well played, sir. Well played. So I did a little bit of Photoshop work, and here's here's what I was thinking. Follow, follow me here. Let me know. Let me know. Let me know if I'm too far off the mark. So we got this one right. This is the Bloodthirster comparison when that first came out. So we got the very first one from the '80s, and then we got the metal one that was basically the mainstay for like 30 years. And of course, we got the plastic one that came out two years ago for the end times, and then Mr. Angorath the forge rolled one which is perfectly acceptable to use for a plastic blood thirst because they're literally like the same size he's just got a mightier girth so to speak right so i was studying this picture and i was like hmm i wonder if i can make this work in photoshop based on this picture right here y'all can do better than that Hype Kenny up even more. There's like three hypes. We need at least four hypes <laughs> for Kenny. And at least one cat dog. Four hypes and a cat dog. Dragon Mirror. Dragon Mirror. I am drinking. I'm just drinking soda in that one. We haven't. We have not yet begun the shot glass. Although we do have it right here. Show me your kitties. There we go. That's an acceptable amount of hypes. <laughs> See, Kenny, we do need you. Even when I say I don't need you, I need you. <laughs> In three, two, one. Is this a five o'clock free crack giveaway? Yes, sir. Nobody's, nobody's hero. I like that. All heroes don't wear capes. Thank you for the donation. I'm Come doing in. my part. I'm doing my part. I'm doing my oh. part too. Oh my, it's shop time. All right, what are we doing? Which juice are we drinking? Which horseman of the apocalypse? <laughs> Cat apocalypse. Thank you again for that donation. And Janik fan, thank you for the follow. We're getting ever so closer to the elusive 1,000. I don't know what it is. I just want it. I don't even know if it does anything. I just want it. Mm -mm -mm. Tim the Great, I got your message. We're all, we're we're good, bro. Jaeger, we do not have any Jaeger, no sir. 
We are all out. We'll constantly be out of Jaeger. Unless we're doing Jaeger bombs, then that is perfectly acceptable. The only way to consume Jaeger is obviously with Red Bull. Because you got to have your uppers and your downers together. That way you just even out. <laughs> that was the worst even out ever. All right, so I took this picture. Wait, what are we doing? The cactus? Make a cocktail. Oh, my gosh. A cocktail? Do a combo. Are we talking the, the combo of three? <sighs> High octane grain juice. Uh, we got to be careful with that. As long as it's made out of corn, it's okay. <laughs> combo. Oh, gosh. All right, fine. We're doing it. I have no shame. We're doing this. Give me a second. We're going to mix it up. So we got the beast juice. Oh, Lord. <laughs> I wonder which one you're supposed to put on the bottom. I'm not sure. We'll put the darkest on the bottom. Nothing bad could happen. <laughs> Everything bad's going to happen. All right. Next up is pirate juice. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's getting real. It's going to keep me warm. Thank you, guys. Thanks for helping keeping me warm. <laughs> keeping me swole. And this is uh, cactus juice. Straight out of the cactus. Just put a little funnel on it. It's like maple syrup. Pretty much the same. I would stir it, but I feel like I'm going to stir it inside of my mouth. All right, here we go. Cheers, everybody. Thank you for another fun show. We will get to some painting here soon. Ooh, that was good. Left a little. Mm. We need a name that combo shop. Somebody, <coughs> somebody come up with a snappy name, please. Mm -mm, good. I say do cocaine. I'm not doing cocaine, but thank you. You gotta let us see that shot first. Uh, well, I don't know how much you can see. It's a dark shot glass. You of all people should know about this shot glass. But I assure you, it has the aroma of alcohol. Uh, so there's three wise men. How about three wise cat? Oh, the cat bringer. I like it. We got a winner. Oh, Warkov. So, what is the schedule for Spiky Bits TV this week? Just one show or three? We're going to try to do three. The, th the three is beta. It's strictly beta. I don't want to make any promises, but that is very, it's, it's tentative. I'm going to, I'm going to try to stick to it, uh, as best I can. So, we will be the, the, the Long War Caboose tomorrow night at 11 p.m. Eastern. That's the Adult Swim, Robbie B and Chill. And Friday at 3.30 Eastern, I think it is. We will be the locomotive pulling the long war behind us. The triple hairball. <laughs> no doubt. I like that. Triple hairball. Mm. Gangster gumbo. I don't know. That might be patented by Kenny. We'll have to ask him. See if it's okay. Shot glass isn't clear. I can get a clear one. I have no shame. I'll do it. We will, we will get that. Oh, Reznor, you e-checked us. All right. It's all good, bro. Thank you. Every little bit counts. No worries. It'll clear, and uh, it does give you the cat nap. It just takes, like, three days, um, something like that. So just be, just be careful with that in the future. The cat bringer of death. Awesome. The catastrophe. <laughs> I don't know. Catastrophe is good. All right, you guys keep talking about it. We're gonna we're gonna talk some Lord of Change here. The new G. So this is the comparison. The bloodthirster comparison shot. The bloodthirster happy family. It was a Chinese entree. <laughs> and I used a little Photoshop magic. I'm no wizard, but I'm like a novice. I'm like a Padawan. And I came up with this. I don't know if you saw the article this morning. 
But based on the base size, which 60 mil to at least 100 mil, I feel like it's good. Uh, here, let me cover up my face, my stupid face. The reason I I went with that was, if you look right here, you can see the Bloodthirster's wing of the old metal one goes up to the face of the new plastic one. So I felt like that, that seemed to be pretty solid here. And then the wings are at least twice as tall on the Bloodthirster as the Lord of Change. So I was like, hmm, all right. So what do you guys think? Is that is that a good comparison? Is do you think it'll be like that? Like I think it's pretty accurate. It might be a little a smidge off, but I'm not sure. Puss and puss are not the same. That is true, Warboy. A hundred percent true. Yeah, if this if this is the size of it. Based on this moviefoofshoot.com, did you say Jay and Saw Bob are quote fucking clown shoes? Yeah. Really? Hoods Gay says. Where, where'd you go? I lost it. Hoods Gay says smaller, I think. Okay, that's fair. Spectre 2292, beware chicken, demon is each. Oh, yeah. This thing's gonna get painted up. I have I have something very special planned for Mr. Lord of Change. Trust me, it's gonna be a fun month for for everybody on the stream here. Uh, so I'm getting a whisper right now. Uh, caught the last few streams about 20, 30 minutes after you started. So it's cumulative. Like if you if if you come in late, you leave, whatever, it's fine. He he keeps track of everything. Um, in fractions. So every fraction that adds up to three hours will get you a cat nap. Every donation that adds up to five dollars will get you a cat nap. Like even the donations add up to it. So it's fine. Don't don't worry about it. Like we're not we're not all hard in the pain on the, the money thing here. Like I try to make it as easy as possible. Um and we definitely never hold the hobby hostage. Give me a ride. I'm way too big to drive to the Dallas house. Drive monkey <laughs> drive Sir Jet Thank you for the donation. You are glad we came to Twitch. I'm glad too. Let me tell you what. Twitch, this is fun. Like, Kenny was like, yo, bro. This is my Kenny voice, by the way, bro. You're going to be you're gonna be like, this is going to be the funnest part of your day. Like, you're going to really enjoy it. And I was like, I don't I don't believe you. <laughs> that's that's my immediate response to everything Kenny says. Is like, I don't believe you. And he's like, bro. And I'm like, all right, all right, all right. All right, I'll give it a try. I'll see if I like it. Totally like it. Doing it three times a week. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching. I couldn't do it without you. Like this, this is super fun. It's amazing. I love really sharing this stuff, giving back to the hobby, showing you all my hobby projects, and you know, hobbying along with you. I actually recorded tomorrow's uh, tutorial that's going up on for on Long War, and to uh, Patreons is the off-camera stuff for Mr. Karn the Betrayer, Mr. Betrayer, the four big hacks to painting Chaos Marine. So, you know, how to do the trim quick, how to do the skulls trick, the metals, um, the power cables. Most of the stuff I picked up from Kenny, but a lot of it, like, I kind of mixed in there myself, you know, so to speak. <laughs> All right, you have never started a sentence with bro, Kenny. I'm sorry, I'm mixing you up with somebody else. <laughs> it's okay substitute when i speak about kenny substitute bro with dog and it'll be fine <laughs> uh, kenny's never said bro in his whole life actually i've never heard him say that it's true <laughs> when have i ever started I'm sorry. I'm sorry I put that evil on you. So anyways, Lord of Change, coming in hot. Could be coming out, could be going on pre-order as early as the 14th for a release on the 21st. It may go on pre-order the 20, 21st for a release on the 28th. So just keep those dates loosely penciled in for your uh, preferred enemy wallet situation. But man, I'll tell you what. Now... I will let you in on a little secret. It's not really a secret. 
There's a lot of folks out there saying this is going to be a dual kit with Fate Weaver. There's no proof of that. GW did not say that. There are some people on Twitter three, saying that. Two, one. Is this a five o'clock free crack giveaway? Demon Dog, thank you for the donation. You scooped up more fantastic cat naps. Uh, Pharaoh Roche. No news for Undead release. I'm sorry. I got nothing on that. Although I do strongly suspect, and I have no proof of this either, this is gut feeling, add all the salt, just float along in the salt sea. But that very first rumor engine post we saw from Games Workshop, I think that is some sort of dwarven machine. Because you can see a dwarven rune on the, the bottom, of, or like on the side almost. And they haven't showed that off yet. That's the only thing they haven't showed off. And if that was part of Mechanicum, like uh, Belisarius, they would have showed that. So I think that's part of the, um, what is it, the, the Dur Durden uh, release that will be coming out. I hear there isn't going to be a lot of Age of Sigmar between now and the summer. Just a rumor again. But um, there's going to be splashes. But it's going to be mostly 40k. And I have a list. I have a list. I have not published it. But I have a list of all the important dates that Games Workshop has put out to their stores. Where they told their store managers they could not take vacation or anything like that. So chances are some of those dates will be very important to the rest of us. And I will be publishing that um, in the near future, I'm sure. I, uh, Reiner72, I did not read that. Is, did they say that on the community site, that it could be Fate Weaver, that it could be Fate Weaver as well? I did not read that, but some people are saying that, but I did not read that part. Let me know, I might have overlooked it. It, it has happened in the past. Hmm. All right, so we've got that there. I hope that is as big as it is. Now, some late-breaking news today. The Blood Bowl Dwarfs. All 12 of these fantastic little, little people, they like to be called little people, were shown off on Warhammer Community today. Uh, they did not show the Death Roller, though. I was, a little, I was a little sad, but we have pictures of it, of course, from the open day. Our man James Martin was on the scene in Nottingham, sent us back great pictures. He also scooped us up some great swag uh, that we will be reviewing and giving away here on the channel in the future. So, super... Thank you to him. Uh, I don't know about you, but these guys look great. Like, if I wasn't already having a human team, I would probably play these guys. Because the, like, two times I played Dungeons and Dragons in the past 20 years, I was always a dwarf. I don't know why. I guess that's my spirit. Dungeons and Dragons animal. <laughs> the kit can also be used to create Chaos Kairos Fate Weaver. Oh. My stand corrected. I did not read that part. Obviously, I was doing a lot Sunday. We were recording some great battle reports for the Long War. I got a little behind on work because of the snowstorm and the mail and things coming in late. So try to keep up with it all. But like the Emperor says, you can either be all-powerful or all-knowing. You cannot be both. I also cannot be in two places at once. Yes, uh, Dorn Jr., uh, Adepticon will have a Wednesday night seminar from Games Workshop. No clue what it's about. But they're having it, and you have to purchase a ticket to get into that seminar. Hopefully, we'll, we will be on hand there and uh, report as best we can. That's right, George. We got some dwarves coming. Thank you, thank you, Reiner. No, I'm not. I ain't hating, bro. Spread, spread the, spread the news, spread the love. Somebody's got to fact check me. <laughs> All right, so we got the dwarves coming in hot. They're going to be great. Can't wait to see them. And if you are a fan of Fantasy Flight's X-Wing, we have the Sea Rock, or the Croc, whichever you want to call it, or the Sir Rock, which, by the way, I had an interesting conversation with a, a young lady once that she was convinced that Sir Rock was its own liquor. It was not vodka. It was not vodka. It was its own separate thing. And I didn't want to fight with her about it, so I just let it. I let. I just let it go. I was like, "You're right. It's its own type of liquor." <laughs> Anyways, 
So this is a pretty cool looking ship. And it also comes with one of the sick fighters, Psych, Sick. Nobody at FFG even knows how to say it. But it comes with one of those. It's going to have some upgrade cards, which we can show you right here. That is not big enough. All right. So it looks like there is about 11 to 20 different upgrade cards. But you see here, there's five different ones at the end. And there's five on that second row, which you can't see my mouse pointer. I'm assuming you're just following along with everything I'm doing, but you're not. But you can see there, and the upgrade cards, there are multiples of the same card. Because for Scum, a lot of people bought three to four of those uh, a couple of years ago because that was the popular list at the time. So a lot of people have a lot of these fighters. So they put a lot of those upgrade cards in there, or they're trying to sell some of these fighters because they weren't selling. Either way, I think it's a good thing. This is a scum faction ship. It's a fatty. Of course, it's for epic play, but they're going to come with X-Wing upgrades, obviously. It's 70, or excuse me, $69.99 retail. It's going to be great. Who knows when it's coming out? But I'm sure a lot of people are already anticipating this bad boy. It just looks dope. Like, I'll be honest. Cursor fail. <laughs> You're right. I'm doing my part. I'm doing my part. I'm doing my part too. Full killer 117. I like that 117. Definitely a fan of the Halos. And the Nighthawk. Thank you for the follow. <laughs> Four Gen Z's in the house from the future. Uh, Haspel did some stuff. I think he, him and Kenny are going to get uh, together tonight after my stream. And work on um, work on a stream some more. It's actually a lot of work to get on Twitch, believe me. I mean, anybody can do it. Um, but to be kind of like, you know, polished and stuff. And practice and get used to everything. I mean, it's a lot. It really is. There's a really interesting um, how-to guide that I found online, and I think I'm, I think I'm probably write up an article about it because we've seen like a literal explosion, literally explosion of folks on the Twitch stream uh, just doing creative stuff. I mean, I was watching a dude today on the IRL stream, and he's just like, he's just like some dude that plays video games, and I guess he doesn't play video games anymore, and he just gets on there and he just talks. He just talks. It is actually really interesting. He gets on there with his girlfriend, and they just kind of sit there and talk. And I'm like, this guy's interesting. I don't even care what you do. I want to I wanna talk to you. And he's like, I'm from Kentucky. And I was like, word? I, I don't know what it is about you, guy, but but you're really interesting. Like, Twitch is insane, dude. There is, there is some really cool stuff going on in here. All right. Literally, literally, cursor fail. All right, well, don't hold it against me. Okay, so let's move on. We got the Sea Rock. It'll be out soonish. Let's go check some more gallery I'm stuff. I'm doing my part. I'm doing my part. I'm doing my part too. Lord Crusader, thank you for the follow, Mister Eighty Nine. All right. If you want to be part of the show, hit exclamation point gallery. And post up a single picture. I have to approve them. <laughs> they can be cats. They can not be cats. They can be work in progress. They can be finished stuff. Ask me any questions. But whatever you do, make sure you hit at Spiky Bits TV so I see it. I try to read everything, but it's hard to get to everything, if you know what I mean. All right, where are we at here? Psychotic Jester. Hmm, sassy cat alert. Wouldn't even stand still for you to take a picture. That's messed up. I, too, have a dark cat. He is a crazy person. I, I like to think he's my ninja. He tries to trip me at night. I think he's secretly plotting to kill me. Tartarus Terminator. Hey, that bag looks familiar. Who is this? Oh, Psychotic Jester again, ready to be assembled. I feel like that is a package you received from me. <laughs> nice. You got all sorts of things on your paint table. 
Death Watch bikers. You got Necron Immortals, Necrons, Venerables. Word. Player J. Ugh. You make me look bad. Player J, you are so good. Why are you so good? That axe looks dope. Yeah, just a little, just a little non-metal attack. No big deal, bro. No big deal. I got this. <laughs> that looks fantastic. Tell us your secrets. Agent Arrow says he doesn't have the time to devote to it now, but planning to start a stream this summer to teach people how to design 3D printed conversion kits. You know, 3D 3D printing is really coming on strong right now. And there's a lot of folks out there you can get their stuff off Shapeways. We actually did an unboxing recently. Uh, some great stuff. I'm way too big to drive to the devil's house. Drive, <laughs> monkey, drive! Stay Stealth just donated four dollars and got bubbles. Like I don't I don't know how you got bubbles. Like tell us your secrets. How do you get bubbles? <laughs> Thank you for the donation. I'm not sure how you did that. My psychotic jester says, Lucky for me, she only wants to smother me with love. Oh. Oh. Oh, you got the you got the bikers with the second Patreon swag back word. We will be shipping out a lot of Patreon shipments this month. It is quarterly swag time, and let me tell you what, we're going to open the the, the, uh, the swag closet very wide this, this go around. Oh, some Blight Kings. That is gross in a good way. Is it just me, or does that axe look like it's heated up like lava? The axe is lava. The axe is lava. That's incredible. All the postules, all the everything in there. Rotted out steels with like, it almost looks like typhus corrosion. Might not be though. That is great looking. Wow. Can't wait to see the basin on this guy. Who, who did that? Who's responsible for this madness? DM Brad. Very cool stuff there. Was this genuine? Genuine showing off again. <laughs> Different angle this time. Looks like there's some cogs on the road. Oh, and some matching white cogs on the back. Very cool. Holster detail done. Can't exactly pick out what else has been done since last time. But I mean, it's amazing. What is it? This is the Tech Priest model, right? Just a mere human with robot legs. Looking fresh. Silver Tower work in progress here. Don't know who did it. Yeah, that blanking was insane, dude. Oh wow, look at this. It's like a it's like a Silver Tower clubhouse. <laughs> Oh, looking fresh. Got those tight golds. Everything's base coated up, ready to go. Looks like some other guys up on top there. Corn guys. Very cool. Great start. Necron Scarabs. Don't know who did these, but they looking fresh. His cog level is over 9,000. That is true. Yeah, I don't even know what to say right now on that that lava axe. Blew my mind. Warboy says bubbles are an option when you donate. It has a few to choose from. Why have you guys not been bubbling before? Oh my gosh. It's like amazing. Those purples look fresh. I know Necron Scarabs are so hard to paint. They're so small. This is looking great. I 
Oz Mike says, good morning from Australia, you crazy time traveler in the future. Good morning to you, sir. Skaven! Looks like some uh, Spire of Dawn right there. Solid base coat, great flesh tones. The greens obviously are dirty. And some 30k love. Hmm. Cannot place this chapter. What do we got here? I don't know. Well, whatever they are, they look fresh. Some great base coated Horus Heresy miniatures. Look like the plastics out of uh, Calf. Very cool stuff. Scarlet Horror, welcome to the show. You have to pay $2 to get the pro upgrade? Really? No way. For the bubbles? Oh, well, don't, don't do the bubbles then. They're not that important. That's silly. LET's here too. Wicked Wombat. Oh, everybody's in the house. What's up, guys? Guess everybody's make, making the show. Getting off work and such. Very cool. Thank you, everybody, for stopping by. So we showed off earlier some of the uh, some of the emotes for the stream. I don't know if you saw them. I'm just flip back to those and start doing some painting here soon. Let me see. Will it do it? It will do it. There it is. It's not exactly set up, but it's good to, good enough. So these are some of the emotes we're going to have on the stream here soon. As soon as we get all our paperwork processed over at uh, Twitch. Kenny designed these. We've got cactus, two different cactus cats. Ole! I like the one with the sombrero, of course. And then we've got pirate cat, yar. And the maniac with the channel icon. Which everybody will get next to their name when they're here in the stream. Very cool stuff. Alright, let's do some painting. I think it's painting time. It's time to paint. Drop your work in progress, pictures, and anything else you have. Make sure to put your name on it so you get proper credit. Hit exclamation point gallery, and we will check those out here in a little while. And it looks like on the cat box giveaway, we've got about only a hundred dollars in donations to go, and we will give away one of them fantastic cat boxes right here. Oh, I didn't even cover them up. Man, I am slipping. But there you go. There's the fabulous prizes that are up for grabs tonight. All right, let's go to the paint table. Paint time. I think that timer might be off too. It's only an hour and a half. What is going on? That doesn't even make sense. How is that off? Well, that's not right either. Poopshoot.com. Did you say Jay and Saw Bob are quote? Fucking clown shoes? Yeah. Really? Psychotic Jester, thank you for the donation. That's it. We're over 50%. <laughs> Alright, well this timer is wrong. I don't know what's going on with it. It doesn't make any sense. Just on that crazy PST time? No, that doesn't work either. What the heck? Maybe it is. Let's try that. Okay, it's just determined to be a pain in the butt. Well, regardless, it's an hour and a half away. We go off at 
1 p.m. Eastern. Excuse me, 11 p.m. Eastern. Okay. Let's do some painting. So we're going to finish up, well, we're not going to 100% finish up Karn, Mr. The Betrayer, on stream tonight. But we're going to get a lot more done. So here he is. This is some of the homework I did over the weekend. Now, like I said, I cut a video for some of these hacks that we talked about on uh, some of the gold trim and different things. The bone detail that we did on the backpack. But I haven't gone in here and 100% finished it all up yet. But we're going to pretty get to that. Six wing death. <laughs> Welcome to the show. So we're getting there on this guy. Now we did some red highlights, which you can see right there. I actually went in and black lined around some of the trim right here. Because what I wanted to do was I wanted to be pronounced. Those areas right there are just, they're, they're so obvious. I could not do it, I feel like. So I hit that up, but I haven't taken, I haven't added some orange to the mix quite yet. Taking it all the way up. Haven't done the tassels yet. Like I said, I got a little bit more homework to do, but you will be finished by tomorrow In night's three, stream. Two, one. This is a five o'clock free crack giveaway. Dorn Jr., thank you for the donation. I hope that that captured catnap. See what I did there? <laughs> so we got a little bit more work to do on this. I got the, the handle to do too. We're going to work in some pinks right there. Uh, some pinks and purples on it. Make it tight. We're going to do the eyes. None of that craziness on stream. I wanted to show you some of the, the reds on stream though. Because if you were here last week, you saw... Things get real, bad boy style. It ended up uh, pink at first, but we corrected it. We, we fixed it. Yeah, gold details forever, I tell you. I hate gold. But we got some hacks. This is going to help everybody. We'll put that video out uh, tomorrow over on the Long War Early Access and Patreon as well. But then, you know, it'll be out in like two weeks on the normal channels. We never hold the hobby hostage. We ain't dumb people. Don't you put that evil on us, Ricky Bobby. All right, so we're going to... Just detail this real quick with the reds. Kador red base. Just get in here. We're going to edge it out. Again, P3's got such such good color. So you got that color right there, right? Then you've got, if you want to compare it to the G-Dub stuff, you got some uh, Mephiston and Wild Rider. I think there's a corn red too that's darker. Then you can add in some orange. Just kind of depends on which way you want to go with it. Troll Slayer orange. Really just depends. What we're going to do is we're going to go with this. Because it's already kind of like an in-between. This is more of a Wazdaka. But it's it's thicker. And I, I like working with P3 paints as much as I can, when I can. I'm a huge fan of what they got going on. I think they were designed by Mike McVeigh. I could be wrong. But, long story short, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter who designed them. Alright, so here is our backpack for Mr. The Betrayer. Get some paint on here. Probably not going to keep it on stream because I want to keep that in focus. So we're just going to use the palette off stream here. We're using our Artificer XS brush that I think is secretly a Windsor Newton miniature brush. <laughs> I'm sorry to contribute to the delinquency of an Imperial player there. <laughs> Six wing death. Alright, so we're just going to get in here. This is very simple. Make sure we got a nice good coat on our brush. We're just going to get in here, add some, some ankles. Use our pinky to balance, not because we're fancy. And just hit those edges. Them hyper highlights. Very simple stuff. Just gotta practice a little bit to get good. But this is a, this is a very simple technique. Sometimes there isn't that much paint on the brush, like what you're seeing right here. You just gotta go over it a few a few a few more times. Angle of attack is huge here. Like look at look at what I'm doing. I'm not getting on the on the 
on the gold. I'm not getting it on the blacks. That shaded black on that power cable. Because we're going in at the right angle. We're keeping our brush clean. We're keeping our brush moist. you got to keep the tip moist. And it's all about the angle of attack. And the support. Like, I'm bracing my elbows on my, on my chair here, right? You know, I've got one hand on the table, which I probably use them. I'm doing my part. I'm doing my practice. Part. I'm doing my part, too. Max27, thank you for the follow. We are painting Mr. Karn, Mr. The Betrayer. And some red details. You just earned yourself a cat nap towards our fantastic giveaways on stream. Don't forget, tomorrow night we'll be Robbie B and chilling at 11 p.m. Eastern. All right, getting back in here with the angle of attack. Now, if I make a mistake, I'm not too sweating it because this water, this paint is watered down enough that I can uh, just kind of erase it real quick with my finger and move on. Now, another great tip, technique, is to always pull the brush towards you. So I'm going to move the part and pull back the paintbrush, still going, <laughs> still stroking it towards myself, obviously. So I get that good control over the brush and my tip. <laughs> Length and girth. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow we're going to start a new hobby project. Super secret. Not really secret. It'll be Age of Sigma. Start out, of course, once again with some, some sick airbrush fades. Working it up from there. And then I got a phone call from one of my good friends, super friend of the show, Ender. If it wasn't for that man, none of this would be possible. Coming in hot with a special request, so I'm going to have to get on that here soon as well. For you guys, you will all benefit from our mysterious, the very first patron of Spiky Bits. <laughs> All right, so you see here on these edges, it's getting like some super definition, right? Which is great because it's dark right here, so it's creating that contrast. It's all about contrast. I didn't believe in the doctrine of contrast myself. So I saw something Kenny's work, and I was like, bro, you're, you're, you're blowing my mind. I need you to calm down. It's like, nah, man, it's cool. I'm like, word. <laughs> Teach me how to get bigger biceps. <laughs> So there you go. It's pretty, it's pretty easy there. Now we can add a little bit of orange to this paint and just hit the very tips with these hyper highlights if we wanted to. I don't feel like it's that necessary, um, Mr. The Betrayer, because there's so much detail on this guy that the red is really just kind of like just there. It's like, it's like a bun. It's like a french fry. It's a ketchup delivery system almost. You know what I mean? Like really, you're just you're just trying to eat the ketchup. You don't really need the French fry. Let's be honest. But that's kind of, <laughs> that's kind of what this is. I may have a problem with ketchup. I'm just saying, it's delicious and gluten free. So just hyper highlight. Remember, paint is translucent. We could do these sides because you're going to see it from the front from the front side, so to speak, so we will get in here and just top it off. You don't have to. But, it definitely adds to the, the ambiance. Always make sure you're pulling towards you, not away. This applies to many things in life. I actually think no, I don't want to hit that. That's just this is a bridge too far right there. Now we can do. How's this looking for you guys? This is a good, good, good color, good lighting. What are we talking here?
Lord Crusader 86, I am not a fanatic. I actually have celiacs. I cannot process the glutens. Trust me, I have proof. Messy, messy, messy proof. <laughs> All right, Warboy says we're good, so we're good. Yeah, I don't, I don't really buy into all those like crazy fad diets and you know all that stuff. I mean, if it's you're into it, you're into it. Um, unfortunately, I have to be into this one. When it landed me in the emergency room, let's just say it was a bad boys two moment. Okay. All right, so we're gonna go over top here, and we're just gonna do. This isn't the edge, so we gotta go in here and we gotta line this. And theoretically, we should take a nice black line and get in here too. But we're gonna see it. We're gonna see how it looks. Pretty much straight freehand at this point. I want to pull it back, kind of fade it, taper it off. Now, if I was a true G, I would get in there and draw, like, demon faces and shit, but I'm not a golden demon painter. I just hit for average. Just trying to get that run batted in, you know? John Bingham. Um, I am not vegan. Uh, don't have much experience with that. Only the glutens. I definitely eat meat, if you know what I mean. Gotta get that protein. <laughs> Next level painting says, turns out if we don't eat, bre eat bread, we get healthier. <laughs> well, the right kind of bread, I guess. Some people just can't process it. Apparently, I cannot anymore. So, who wants to hear the story of how I found out, well, how I suspected I actually had the glutens after my doctor told me I had the glutens for like two years and I didn't believe her? I will tell you the story if you want it. It involves ridiculous amounts of drinking, of course. Most of my good stories revolve around ridiculous amounts of drinking. Alright, so there we go. Hyper highlight on the red. Look at fresh. Tighten it all up, and this backpack is pretty much done except for a matte coat. Remember, we use don't be a buster, use the Model Master Lusterless Flat little spray cans. Generally, do not get affected by ambient temperatures, pressures, humidities, things like that. It's good stuff. Probably involves booze and poo. Huh, I feel like you've heard. My stories before, still one more name. So, it was a fantastic summer evening. I want to say circa 2012-ish. Maybe, maybe even as early as 2011. Hard to say. Spawn4, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the Hobby Rapport. So, it was a, it was a great evening. We had this, uh, we had this place in my town, new, new place opened up, Uptown Alleys. You could go there, play some bowling. They had the downstairs level with the ski ball for the children, the upstairs level with normal bowling. Of course, you had a little cabanas. It was cabana bowling, of course, and there was buttons you could push and people would bring you booze. So obviously, uh, that was very important to me at the time. And uh, I, I drank a, a respectable amount, I feel like, of booze that night. I mean, several martinis. I want to say there were some Jaeger bombs involved. Um, I think Long Islands were on special at the time. I might have had about ten of those. You know, just just about just average, just a, just a normal, respectable amount of booze, right? <laughs> Nothing bad could have happened. Yeah, I want catch boobs. <laughs> Duty tunes. Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the Spike. I'm doing bits. my part. I'm doing my Hobby part. Rapport. I'm doing my part too. Oh, and Six Wing Death has followed as well. You all have a cat nap now. Oh, I love mojitos. Oh, don't even get me started on mojitos. Let's let's focus. Let's focus. Woo. Let's focus. Okay, so <laughs> drinking a respectable amount, obviously, always. 
a respectable amount of alcohol. And went home that night, uh, met some new friends, went home that night, and uh, got up in the morning. Didn't feel so hot. Didn't feel so hot. I was like, hmm, I drank a lot. Maybe you shouldn't do that again. Pretty much what I say all the time. And uh, so I was like, man, I feel really crappy. Let me get a granola bar. Granola bars were my jam back in the day. I was like, yo, all right, let me get a granola bar. I'll uh, just go back to sleep, you know, get, get my strength together. I'll get better. Three hours later, I'm like, man, I still feel, still feel bad. Still feel bad. I'm, uh, I think I'm hungover. I don't know what's going on. This, this is uncharacteristic of me. I don't know what's going on. Let me get a pot pie. Obviously, I need a pot pie. I'm going to eat a pot pie. I feel, I feel hungry. I feel famished. I need a pot pie. So I'm eating a pot pie and uh, still feel terrible. About noon, I start to not be able to feel my fingertips. And I'm like, hmm, this is new. <laughs> I feel like I might be going somewhere with this. So... Just kind of laid there debating. You know, you ever had those moments where you just lay in bed and you're like, do I really want to get out? How important is this situation to me? You know, like whether it's going to the bathroom or like you hear a noise outside or, you know, you can't feel your fingertips. Well, <laughs> I, after a while, I was like, all right, this might be a thing. Let me get up. Let me let me drink something. Let me have something else to eat. Feel Start feeling better. So I get up, have some potato chips. You know, eat some, eat, make a sandwich, hungry, go back, lay down. I mean, man, I still don't feel good. I still don't feel good. About 3 p.m., I cannot feel my hands up to my wrists, and I stop all feeling in my toes. And I'm like, huh, clearly I need to check this out. This is a, this is a Google situation. Obviously, I couldn't Google at that point. So we come to find out that the partial temporary extreme extremity paralysis is a um, sign of alcohol poisoning so I was like oh man I didn't I don't feel like I drank that much so let me um all right can I get a ride to the ER let's go do this and I get to the ER and the doctor's are like hey what'd you drink last night and I'm like well here's the list and they're just kind of looking at me I was like I'll, all right let me preface this with the fact that that is not a lot for me like I know you hear a lot of stupid people in here and I know I'm presenting with these silly side effects of alcohol poisoning, but I don't feel like it's alcohol poisoning. I feel like it's something else. And they're like, sure, guy. Yeah, we're just going to test you for, like, all this stuff. I'm like, all right, whatever. Come to find out, the same thing happens when you uh, are experience gluten poisoning. Same exact thing as alcohol poisoning, partial temporary paralysis of your extremities. So it turns out it wasn't all the booze I drank. It was the pot pie, the granola bar, and the sandwich, et cetera, et cetera, that I had been eating like crap for like 30 years of my life. So long story short, got checked out, stomach biopsy. I'm 100% allergic to gluten. Not like super sensitive, but sensitive enough that if I eat it in excess, bad things happen. So yeah, I've watched enough House MD. I'm pretty much a doctor at this point. This is a real story. <laughs> uh, uh, so I'm like, it wasn't I drank too much booze. I ate too many pot pies. And my doctor, oh my gosh, my doctor was so smug when I went to see her. She was like, so, read your, uh, your ER report. I'm like, yeah, I was there. She's like, so, uh, what do you think? And I was like, well, one of us have eight years of medical schooling. <laughs> one of us doesn't. I don't think it matters what I think at this point. <laughs> and she's like, yeah, you know that time? And I was like, I know. I know. You were right. <laughs> My doctor was that cool. I could, like, she could mess around with me. And I was like, you were totally right. I got the glutens. It's a, brand, it's a brand new adventure now. <laughs> so that's my gluten story. So yeah, lesson learned. Drink more, less granola bars, and pot pies. No, but for real though, like, 
There's a lot of food out there that's terrible for you. You should three, everything in modification. Two, mod, moderation is good. Is this a five o'clock free crack giveaway? <laughs> Jammin four two eight. Thank you for the donation. We were just re, re uh, I was retelling my gluten story. The day I learned I got the glutens. Oh yeah, it's always lupus. Everybody knows that. Hundred percent never lupus. <laughs> lupus. It's always the glutens. All right. Let's get back on track here. Have you ever had a mojito flavored Jones soda? I have not, but that sounds delicious. I would like to learn more. Warlander says I'm going through the same thing right now after hearing that story. Talk about it before I got checked out. Yeah, definitely get checked out. I mean, you can get a blood test. It's inconclusive. The best thing to do is biopsy. Obviously, biopsy is fancy words for they stick a camera through your belly button and cut part of your stomach lining out and then analyze it. That's what that means. So it, yes, it is expensive. I had insurance at the time, thank God. But uh, that is the only technically conclusive way. But I don't know how to test for not glu for glutens, but I know that if you just don't eat glutens for a day, you may just feel better. I would try that. It's It, it costs you literally nothing. <laughs> that would be a good place to start. Do you get funny looks from waiters when you inquire about meals at restaurants? Yes. Yes, I do. And then I explained to them, I was like, no, 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 no. This is a real thing. I really have it. And they, usually they're pretty cool about it. But by that point, um, usually just like me talking to them and just like cutting up, they realize I'm not a total idiot, I guess. And they're like, oh, okay, this guy's actually cool. He's not a D-bag. Yeah, I'm totally a hipster. It's all about the, it's all about the gluten freeze, bro. Yeah, celiac panel. That sounds like a real technical term. See? Rukichkin is like a medical expert. There you go. <laughs> Alright, let's do some painting. So, it's basin time. B -b 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 basin. Alright, so this is Secret Weapon Miniatures Desert Sand 5-pack. Five, five this is a 40 mil base. I've already taken the liberty of base coating this bad boy here. Now, this is a custom color. This harkens back to the early 2000s in my fantastic Iron Warriors army because we're going we're going with that basing scheme here. Now, this is a custom color of what I like to call true dirt. So, it is 50/50 charred brown and dark flesh tone from Vallejo model color because this is the only way you can get those paints anymore. It used to be just Dark Flesh from Games Workshop and also uh, Scorched Brown from Games Workshop. But now all we have left is the game color from Vallejo. By the way, Fantastic Paints, great, great company. Couldn't say enough good things about them. So we got this all base coated up with those paints right there. Now, for the, for the highlight, we're going to do uh, a dry brush. And that dry brush is going to be 50-50 mix of... Bestial Brown, which is now called Beastie Brown from Vallejo Model Color, and Plague Brown. But unfortunately, this Plague Brown is so old it has separated from the binder. It's pretty much garbage at this point. I've shaken this to infinity. So we're going to option select in here to a Zamzi Desert and Beastie Brown kind of mix 50-50. And what this does, this, this really gives you that, that good looking desert look slash real dirt look. Because I mean, I love some khaki dirt and I love some like, you know, a grilling crackle. But at the end of the day, I kind of have to match my old chaos guys. So I kind of have to go, go with the heart there, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, Beastie Boys Brown. McLovin McCheese. It's a hell of a name. Love it. <laughs> Slow Fuse Gaming. What's up, dog? Welcome to the show. I just re, uh, recounted my my story of how I decisively found out I had the glutens and my smug-ass doctor, which, by the way, also said fun things like, hey, Rob, you need more D. And I'm like, Hold, hold on. Who else do you tell that to? 
because it can't just be me. She's like, no, you're the only person. And I was like, you know what that means, right? And she's like, vitamin D. And I was like, yeah, obviously, I know what you're saying. But you got to be careful, man. There's a bunch of weirdos out there. <laughs> oh, man, she was the best. I moved away. I miss her. Actually, she left me. Don't get it twisted. Because she went to another practice. She left me high and dry, but then I moved away. So I got the last lap. That's what she gets. Most doctors are smug about their medical knowledge. Source, I married one. Oh, well then. I'm sure doctors get a lot of crap yeah, from people. I faded into myself. Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the Hobby Rapport. We're, we're all legal and medical experts. <laughs> uh, robot chicken. You, you're probably right. Uh, it was this Aberrant 624. Have you tried a Badger paint mixer? So, funny story about a Badger paint mixer. I have one right here. This doesn't look like an implement of torture at all. Um, but the only problem is that you can't. This thing, this does not go down. <laughs> this doesn't fit in the hole. So, it doesn't fit into the Vallejo paint. So, I'd have to dump it out and put it into something, actually. It, Vallejo paint pots are the only ones it doesn't work on. But yeah, the, the Badger paint mixer is actually pretty dope. I feel like I'm just going to have the option select at this time. Uh, still one more name. I do not think she needed my D. Maybe she did. Maybe I misread the situation in that waiting room with my pants down. I don't know. Or the doctor room. I don't know. I feel like that's not how it, how it went down, though. <laughs> Maybe it was. I don't know. I don't think so. Anyways, she's friends with me on Facebook. That's all that matters. We're still friends. She pops up in my stream every now and then. Alright, so we're going to use a big fatty brush right here. This is one of those new G-dubs. G-dub dries. I don't use this very much, and when I do, I clean it right away. Because I just don't want any hassle. Now, if you are not on board the dry brush train, we're going to show you that real quick. It's like the easiest thing in the history of ever. It's an ancient Chinese technique where you just basically brush off the excess on a paper towel or your hand or a cat if there's one handy. I said handy. Until you don't see any more paint, pretty much. That's usually a good sign. All right, there we go. I mean, you could go heavy dry brush. You can literally go hard in the paint. But for this, we're going to start small and work up to it. Because I haven't actually used this color in a while and I forget. Oh, there we go. Okay, I see it now. See it right there on that rock? Yeah. If you want to be part of the show, make sure you hit exclamation point gallery. Upload your work in progress or finished pictures for us to ooh and ah talk about feel free to ask me any painting questions just make sure you preface it with at spiky bits tv and i'll do my best to get to them all during the show and of course we have another cat box giveaway going on tonight as well for one of three possible prize packs kind of see it in a light right there the dry brush action Oh, and Top Donator Giveaway, of course, we'll get three sets of the Iron Armor Mark III Marines out of Prospero, which looks to be Tim Great, Tim D. Great 21, currently. I can also be bribed with, uh, with shots. It'll warm me up. It's very cool here. See all that dry brush pattern right there? Because we got so much of the paint off the brush, it just goes on the very tops of that detail right there. Now, of course, we'll have to come back and lip the base again. But that's okay. Great definition. 
I love these brushes. But you can see the bristles, mm, I'm not a huge fan of. They stain pretty easily. All right. So there's that. So now we're going to switch up and just go straight Zamazee Zamzi Desert. I would prefer this was bubonic brown, but again, we ain't got that kind of time right now. Six wing death, I know you can take the top off. It literally won't fit in the hole underneath that. Trust me, I tried. That was the second thing I thought of. <laughs> Dab this off. Dab. And I'm not going to blind you with this. Dry I'm brush doing my part. I'm doing my part. I'm doing my part too. Darneth763, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the Hobby Report. Where it's all hugs and handies. Mostly hobby stuff. You need a cat box command? Do I not? I thought I had, is it info? Somebody hit exclamation point info. I think it has that stuff in there. Let's see if this is. I'm gonna take a break after this, real quick. I'm doing my part. I'm doing my part. Yeah, there we go. Good I'm color. Doing my part too. I feel like a doctor. I'm like not even looking at the model. I'm looking at the screen. All those years going to school. I mean, dry brushing isn't hard. Let's be honest. <laughs> Go hard in the paint back here. But yeah, dry brushing is pretty easy. Just got to really be careful with your brushes because you'll you, you'll ruin your brushes quick. So don't use anything any brush valuable. Make sure you try to keep them clean and tip top. Tippy toppy. It may fit in the army painter ones. I'm not sure. Did info work? Yeah, cat box right. Okay. There we go. Alright. It works. It works. There we go. So see how that matches up to the OG color here with some tufts on it. Hey, that's pretty close. What do you think? I'm happy. Scarlet Horror, thank you for hanging in there with us. I know it gets kind of late for some of you folks over in the future. What do you guys think? Look good? I think it matches. Pretty close. Just gotta lift the base. I'm a fan. Oh, I forgot that little spot on Karn. Alright, let's uh let's switch down to a smaller brush real quick. Cause Karn's actually got some terrain on him. And uh I'm gonna clean this out. This is the brush cleaner we use. Great stuff. Master's brush cleaner right here. Just get a little little froth on here. Get it a little frothy. You can see that foam. What's up, Iron Headed? Welcome to the show, bud. Wow, past 3 a.m. You're a crazy person. Go to bed. <laughs> Thank you, Warlander. I think it matches, too. All right, there we go. Armor Vallejo, Jade Green. In other words, what should I use to wash highlight with? Jade Green. 
for painting Vallejo, what's GC? Is that gold color? I'm actually not very familiar with J Green, to be quite honest. I never use that color. Uh, but I would imagine that it's got some Dark Angels green in it to begin with, and then it's like tealed up at the end. So I would say that some teals and some of the yellow browns would be good accent colors with it. Alright, so there's the brush, pretty much cleaned. It's always good to get, because dry brushing puts so much stress on the brush, it's always good to clean it right after you use it immediately. Now I'm going to select down to my smaller version of that brush, another dry brush from Citadel, to get in tight on Karn's feet. And we're going to get a little, little overbrush on it, because, now I've already gone in here, you can see around his foot right there, hit it with that base color. GC is game color. Oh, J Green game color. Okay. Um, so if you're looking at the game color rack, which I don't have here. I have the G-Dub version. You're going to want to look at all the paints around it because Vallejo is actually really good about that. About being close on the highlight colors right around it. But like I said... Some of those colors I think would be good matches for it. Papa Stevie, are there only giveaways with a cat box giveaway meter now? Yes, that is, well, there's also a top donator giveaway as well. Uh, and then there'll be like a monthly and some keyword stuff here and there for the most part. Yep. The big thing is there's always there's always a giveaway because you know there's top donator and then of course the big ones at the end of the month like we're giving away the night porphyrion which is like four hundred fifty dollars I think something like that <laughs> that's a big one I mean I guess I mean I hope it counts I hope you guys think you think it's worth it I don't know I felt like it was pretty pretty good all right so we're gonna get mix up some of this oh, actually I might have saved it. Looks like it saved. Cool. It didn't all dry out. Nice. All right. So just a quick dry brush right here. We've got a little bit left, which is probably all I'm going to need for his feet. Then we're going to take a quick break after this. Right there. Boom. Just hitting all those stark edges. And it's okay if you get some on the armor because at this point you should, if you're doing base work. Your, all your detail work should pretty much be finished. So if you do get a little bit of dirt on the base, that's fine. Dirt on armor is good. You do not want armor colors on the dirt. That, that You don't see that in nature. <laughs> you don't want that. You know about that life. The, the, other, uh, the other caveat, Papa Stevie, is... Every $100 in donations, I will do a shot of your choice. Even if it's the dreaded three, uh, what is it, three furballs of the apocalypse? What, what name did we decide on? Somebody fact check me there. I guess we technically have four if we include turkey turkey cats, but uh, turkey juice cats. But we don't We don't have that within reach right now. But there's some pretty big prizes, I like to think. We've got about 50 minutes left in the stream. I don't know why that counter is being all wonky. I feel like there's a ghost in the machine. All right, now we're just going to hit it with Zamzi, Zamzi, Desert. That is a little thick. Drop our set off. Missed the last stream. Came together pretty good. Thank you, Warlander. Um, so I am doing. There's an in-between video tutorial that's going to drop tomorrow on Patreon, as well as uh, the Long War early access. It will be out in a couple weeks on YouTube. 
that will go over the four hacks to painting chaos. Four, four hacks to painting chaos detail. You know, the metals, power couplings, the bone, all that stuff. All, all, the, all the stuff to make painting chaos a little bit easier. Because let's face it, a lot of people are painting chaos right now. So there's, got some Zamzi Desert. It's going to get in here hot because these are going to be very pronounced edges. And like I said, it's okay to get some on the feet because we've already detailed it all. Just around there like that. Very easy stuff. You probably see there, Karn has a lot of bone detail on him. Like a silly amount of bone. We're going to detail all that out like, like that skull right there. That was part of the tutorial I did already. And then of course the on uh moviepoopshoot.com, did you say Jay and Saw Bob are quote fucking clown shoes? Yeah. Really? <laughs> Gary the Fat Man, thank you for the donation. So there you can see the bone detail on the backpack, very similar to what that skull is right there and what the rest of this will look like when we're done with it. Now I was thinking about, I was like, this is probably the one and only Carnivore Betrayal I'll, I'll, <laughs> I'll ever paint. I was thinking about doing a giveaway for this, like a, I don't know, maybe in a couple weeks or something. Thought it'd be fun. What do you guys think? Anybody want a Carnivore Betrayer? <laughs> Mr. The Betrayer? Started out pink. I don't know if anybody's going to want them. Need that gray fax. Yeah, we'll always give away the new releases the week the week after. Fo show. Maybe two fifty is too much for a cat now. I don't know. Or for a cat box. I don't know. I thought it was Thought it was being reasonable. Again. It isn't about the money. But it does take a little bit of cheddar to do what we do here. And we definitely appreciate all the support. We've been able to do so much in the past year, y'all. We definitely couldn't be here, be where we are today, Twitch streaming without you. So hype up the stream for that one. All right, we're going to take a quick break. Come back. Hit it fresh. And... Do some more base details and hit up that gallery. Exclamation point gallery to find out how to add your miniatures to our community gallery and be part of the show. All right, be right back, folks.
we're back. I'm not muted. Personal victory. <laughs> What's happening? What a miss on the break. <laughs> Let's take a look. Alright. Nothing too crazy. Check the chat. Masters Brush Soap. Yep, most stores in the U.S. What are we asking? Who's asking? How do you use catnaps? All right, so for everybody who came in late, Demon Dog included. Sorry, just getting a little hydrated there. Catnaps are the channel currency. You can find out how many you have by exclamation point catnap. You can get more by exclamation point donation. I'll get you the link there. Also watching the stream for three hours or... Uh, becoming a follower will get you one cat nap respectively for each one. These are the way that we keep track of giveaways for raffles. Currently, we have a top donator giveaway at right now. I believe it is for. Oh, forgot about that. Those are just some emotes we're working on. Me and Kenny, mostly Kenny. Top donator giveaway is 30 Mark III Marines on Sprue. It looks to be Tim the Great in the lead there. Now, we do all sorts of giveaways. Currently, we have a cat box giveaway, which is right here. Three great prize packs to be had, each one containing three of the new Armored Assault boxes. And then, of course, a Games Workshop book prize package there of the Masterclass book. The new Horus Heresy Imperial Crusade Adeptus Astartes book. That's the AKA the Red Book. If you want, if you play Horus Heresy, that's the probably the first place to start right there. And the rules book themselves. <laughs> yeah, Hoopsgate, I'm tracking. You know, we just try we try out different things here. Um, the big giveaway at the end of the month will be for Poor figuring out Titan. So everybody's saving their catnaps up for that too. Maybe we want more giveaways. Maybe we want less giveaways. Just trying to just trying to figure it, figure it all out. Basically, if we hit in three, two, one. Is this a five o'clock free crack giveaway? Mr. Space Cat, thank you for the donation. Super appreciate it. So if we hit $250 tonight for the cat box giveaway, you will, we will raffle off a chance for you to pick one of these fantastic three cats right here. And behind them could be any one of those prizes. I will shuffle it before picking, of course. Um, I have to do it. There's some snaps I can move around real quick <clears throat> before we choose. Let me open that up to remind myself that they have not been shuffled. Okay. All right. Let's just get back to some hobby stuff there. So, you know, maybe maybe we need to lower it down. Maybe we need to give more giveaways. I don't know. Weigh in on it. Let me know what you think. Mm -hmm. LET, it should work. Uh, now, sometimes it doesn't work depending on if you're watching on mobile. There's a, there's a bunch of different things. But so far, every, every way I've tried it, it definitely works. Let me check you here. Um, I think it works for you because you have six right now, total. Which makes sense. Just whisper to me if you have any questions. I'll take a look at it after the show, probably tomorrow, to be honest. Uh, John Bingham, I am currently processing the partner paperwork. Those six are from donating. Okay. Um, send me like where you live and stuff like that and how you're watching. I'll take a look at it. I'm not saying it's wrong. I'm, I'm just saying I, I, I need more info to formulate a solution. Less, more frequent giveaways. I don't know what that means. I need an English translation of that. Oh, LT. Gosh, I'm the worst. <laughs> I got old people eyes. Please forgive me. Alright. 
back to some hot pan. Okay, so we got this base. We're gonna we're not gonna affix Karn to it yet. Hopefully by tomorrow night's stream, I'll have this all done up and affixed to the base. We've done the dry brush. Now we need to go back in and lip it real quick. You gotta give me a ride. I'm way too big to drive to the devil's house. Drive, Marky, <laughs> drive! Land of the Arch Magi? Thank you for the donation. <laughs> if I said that wrong, LT got mad at me. So I apologize if I said it wrong. You let me know. I'm all, I'm all self-conscious now. So we're going to have to lip this with the base color of course now if this was gonna be a black lip you gotta give me a ride i'm way too big to drive to the devil's house oh you had to put me on blast oh, there drive! <laughs> lt thank you for the donation uh it's rumored that i am uh celebrating my 20th anniversary on my 20th birthday this year i think that adds up to 40. i'll let you guys do the math on it <laughs> uh the worst. I'm no, I'm no, I'm no mathematician. I don't know how to math. All right, if we were doing a black lip here, let me show you what I would do real quick. I just uh, thought I had it out. I don't have it out. Gosh, there is a really great color. Vallejo Surface Primer makes. It's one of my one of my topsies. Here it is. Quick grab. Vallejo Surface Primer Black. This is a really great color. A lot of times if you use the GW black like the Abaddon and stuff, it takes two coats. This will take a single coat, but make sure you have it mildly thinned down. Like just make sure you rinse your brush off, dab it off on a towel. That should be enough moisture. You can lip anything with this. One coat, good to go. It's like the OG foundation paints from Games Workshop. I love this stuff right here. But we're not doing that today. Today we're doing our special mix of Dark Flesh Tone and Charred Brown, aka Scorched Brown and Dark Flesh from back in the day from Games Workshop. So I'm going to mix up another batch of this. I ain't no math magician. It's true. Lando the Arch Magi. Oh, Lando. Got it. Sorry, bud. Many cat apologies. McLevin says, less amount of stuff in, say, one box, but more frequent. Don't know how you need to finance stuff. Well, you know, I'll be honest. It's not, you know, the, the money helps, obviously. Uh, we got a lot, of, a lot of things going on here at the studio, and there's a lot of different lights to keep on. And obviously, we couldn't do it without you guys. So, you know, special shout out for that. We could not be here streaming today without you guys. So I try not to make it about the money. It's, you know, we're kind of like a new, new agree kind of thing. Um, but I just got to make it sensible. You know, obviously we can't, we can't lose money on things. So I'm just trying to see what sticks. We throw some stuff at the wall, see what sticks. Hopefully not boogers. Too many cocktails. <laughs> yeah, I feel you on that. But what's it at right now? Somebody, I can't see it. I'm trying to mix this paint. What are we at right now on the cat nap? Hit me. Give me a second. Let me get this mixed up. Is that almost, almost 200? Tear, well, you know, I'm trying, I'm trying to keep it fresh. I'm trying to keep it, you know, um, engaging without kind of doing some of the same stuff that other folks are doing. Obviously, we got to keep it cat box yeah, style. Sticky stain. <laughs> Thank you for the follow. <laughs> Love the name. One ninety six thirty nine. All right. If we get to two hundred, we'll do two cat boxes. We're gonna make it rain up in this business. But after I show you this, and we'll figure something out. Tomorrow night, we're not doing any giveaways. I mean, we might be do a top donator or whatever, you know, just to just to have something. But it's not, we're not going to be doing a cat cat box every every day for sure. I don't want it to be about that. I want it to be about the hobby. All right, so we're just lipping this. It's a nice dark color, so it's going to go over on one coat. 
Again, it's all about angle of attack. Make sure you have your proper angles. You give me a ride. I'm way too big to drive to the devil's house. <laughs> Who's the man? Psychotic Jester's the man. Thank you for the donation that puts us over. I think that gets you a shot too. We gotta work shots into this. How do we do it? All right, we're gonna trigger a giveaway here in a minute. How much time we got left? Plenty of time. Cool. We got some more hobby stuff to show you tonight. Hobby stuff on the docket. Moviepoopshoot.com. Did you say Jay and Saw Bob are quote? Fucking clown shoes? Yeah. Really? Paint water shot. We will not be doing that. Alright. We all laugh at you and you drink more shots. Dude. Sounds great. I would literally do that regardless. Tim the Great. I got distracted by the phone call. Thank you, bud. So who's got ideas? Let's go with some pirate juice. Happy to help. Com. Did you say Jay and Saw Bob are quote fucking clown shoes? Yeah. Really? <laughs> Give me one second here, I gotta answer a text message. Okay. It's my man crush. Alright. Gothmog, thank you for the donation. Word on the street is you're moving to the East Coast, bro. Can't wait. PC load letter? What does that mean? Oh, we're going to let this drive for sex. Feldspar 40, thank you for the follow. Cats for the scratch bros. <laughs> ah. Work off, I feel you, buddy. I'm trying to keep, I'm trying to keep Three, it real. Two, one. Is this a five o'clock free crack giveaway? <laughs> Still one more name. Thank you for the donation. Do it and a shot. Yes, I will. Both. Obviously. So what are we doing? We're doing the combo. We're doing the, the three the three cat cat bringers. Cat hairballs. Discount on shots twenty five. Then after you've had a few we can discuss policy changes. Oh, Oh, much smaller donations. How man do you? I'm an East Coaster. Word. Me too. Living in living that North Carolina lifestyle. It's crazy here. Crazy here. Mix it. We're mixing it. Booze. Booze for the booze god. All right. Per still one more name's request, we will show you the inside of the container, even though it is dark. So I just can't tip it over that far next time. All right. Here we go. I'm mixing it up. Good dark first. You gotta give me a ride. I'm way too big to drive to the devil's house. Drive, monkey, <laughs> drive! Oof, that was too much. Mr. Space Cat, thank you for the donation. I think that's enough. Oof. My sight's going. How about a shot of Sea Rock? Yeah, vodka. Totally different than vodka. It's its own liquor. I'm I'm fresh out of Ciroc and vodka. <laughs> I don't even think I'm allowed to say for Ciroc. We're we're definitely talking about the new ship, the Ciroc, the scum and villainy ship for X-wing. I feel like. Oh, Alexandria, yeah, yeah. LT, you're in Nova DC too? That's cool. Spent a lot of time up that way. A lot of time. A lot of changes. I love vodka, don't get me wrong. That's Russian juice. Alright. 
This is as much as I can fit in here without tipping it over. Chicago, Chicago Burbs. You have to come see us at Adepticon. Me, Kenny, Juice, Haspel, the Spiky Cats will all be there. All right, very carefully. This is why I don't want to do I should just get a clear one. There is juice in there. I hope you can see it. Hold on. Money shot. Mmm. See? It's there. It's real. It's a thing. I swear it's these. We need to get you Zimas. I cannot drink Zima. It has gluten. I checked. I'm very disappointed. I can do... Very little, actually, as far as bottled beverages. I can do ciders, but they make me feel like less of a man, unfortunately. But I'll do them. I won't say no. All right, here we go. Cheers, everybody. Thank you for the great stream tonight. Hopefully, everybody's learning something. Give me a ride. I'm way too big to drive to the devil's house. Drive, I did not spill. <laughs> Who's that? Psychotic Jester? Psychotic Jester. Thank you for the donation. They do still make Zima in Japan. Believe it or not, it's a real thing. I am gluten intolerant. Yes, I have the celiacs. I'm almost a real person. Are we at 250? Oh, you guys are the best. Thank you. Juice is a large southern man and a Panthers fan. You are right. Soon to be a married southern man, a gentleman, and a scholar. The stream is not over, I don't think. We still got like 20 minutes. All right, let's do some giveaways. I said two. We're doing two. Yeah, I need I need a clear shot glass. Mistakes were made. I think I remember meeting you at the Game Keep in Hermitage. Hermitage? Tennessee? I think that's a thing. I think that was me. Al Gleason. Uh, yeah, Al and his nephew Chris came out to see them 2008, 2007, I think. One of those two years. I was definitely out there. Faux show. Take cats as support animals. Don't think I, I haven't thought of that. Dick Insider. <laughs> I can't say I've been able to find that at a store. Uh, it's only in rumors. All right, let's do some giveaways. So, first off, let's get a raffle. Let's do two raffles. Let me jump over here. Raffle layer. Might go a little bit later tonight because I want to do I want to do work in progress, and I want to show you guys one more thing about space. Ready Mix 160, thank you for the follow. Excuse me. I am burpy. Apparently I've been drinking. Who knew? Alright. Raffle item. Cat box number one. Excuse me. So for those of you new to the stream, we had a lot, of, a lot of new folks tonight. When this starts, you're going to want to hit exclamation point ticket space number of tickets. And it is a one for one exchange. So one cat nap equals one ticket. You have about two minutes to cast your number of raffle tickets. Here we go. Exclamation point ticket space number to enter for a cat box. A fantastic cat box. <clears throat> ticket, yeah, ticket space, right? 28 followers away from a thousand. That's awesome. We're going to do two, two route. I don't, can I draw two? Does anybody know? I was just going to do another one. Actually, never tried. I don't think I can draw two right now. I'll do another one. I'll do another one. Final answer. Mm 
You can draw twice. Well, I said I'd D2. Let, let's just D2. Because I feel like I said said one thing. I don't want to go back on it, you know. Somebody tell me how to draw to you, though. Just so I know in the future. Alright, 43 seconds left. Got to beat the buzzer. Oh, shoot. Here we go. Where is it? Well, we still got another one. There we go. 19 seconds left. Here, we'll... Uh... We got one more coming, too. So don't worry. You missed it. Still have another chance. All right, there it is. It's closed. It's time. Of course, you can't hear me because it's a 15 second delay. I think you just hit draw again. Okay. What the fuck is the internet? The internet is a communications tool used the world over where people can come together to bitch about movies and share pornography with one another. I mean, obviously, what else is it for? <laughs> Jill in 7 2 or 1. Wow, I do have old people eyes. 120, thank you for the donation. Very kind. I super appreciate it. Okay, let's draw this one. We'll get you one catnap. Can't. So on a system that works on donations, it can't. Well, yeah, I mean, I guess there's that. We're just kind of doing a special thing tonight. We're just trying it out, you know? This is like what our... I don't even know. Seventh stream, sixth stream. Hopefully, we'll, hopefully we'll be here for a while. <laughs> All right, draw and winner. Draw a winner. Workoff. You have won a cat nap or cat box, whatever. Same thing. Not same thing. Hype that man up. A oh, woman. Hype that person up. That hobby person. <laughs> Darn ass, what's confusing you? <clears throat> All right. So you will get one cat box, and you are the first. So you'll go first, obviously. Don't tell me yet. Do not tell me yet. Do not say. All right. Let's do it again. Start new. All right. Same deal. Exclamation point. Ticket. Space number of tickets you want. It is a one for one exchange. One cat nap for one ticket. Raffle. Starting. Oh, well, you got a three second jump on me, you scamps. <laughs> All right, minute 43 seconds, counting down to the second cat box giveaway. Now you can save your cat naps because at the end of the month, January 30th, we are giving away via raffle a Night Porphyrion. Oh no, you're fine, Hootsgate. You were just really excited. I was excited for you. I was like, wait, wait, wait. There's rules. We have to say final answer. It's like a whole thing. I want, I want, I want you guys to be sure. Don't want any feel badsies over toy soldiers. Um, yeah, Max is, Max is, oh, is it? Oh, it is. Hold on. Ah, uh, shoot. I do not know how to fix that. We're just going to have to go with one this time. Sorry, folks. Yeah, you cannot do two. You can only do one. 
It's alright, there'll be more giveaways. There'll be plenty going on. Don't worry. We have plenty of toy soldiers and hobby supplies to give away. It should not be taking two naps per ticket. It's set to one. I can't do anything till it ticks down. Okay, so it was ticket cost one. It was max ticket one. So it should not be taking two from anyone. Yeah, it was a one it was a one ticket. I did not set that up. But that's okay. This was a bonus one. It's all good. It's all good. Uh we don't we don't know on the night before figuring on yet how many tickets it'll be. Still kind of, you know, like I said, we're throwing stuff at the wall, seeing what sticks. Just flying casual. Alright, so let's draw this one. <laughs> Tim the Great, 21. What are the odds of that? What were the odds of that? Hype that man up. It's a machine. Actually, I wanted to see. Total entry is 56, so it's 1 in 56. That's crazy. Wow. One ticket raffle. Boom. All right, Tim the Great, do not say 1.8%. One, 1. Psychotic Jester is a mathematician slash wizard. All right, let's go over to the catnap layer. Catnap giveaway. Okay, I have to shuffle these. Forgive me. It would be too easy if I did not. All right, let me scroll down, snap these. Double check my work. Okay. Alright, so Warkov is first. Pick a cat, any cat. Say a cat color and final answer. Where's Warkov? Warkov, pick a cat color, pink, white, or brown, slash orange. On MoviePoopShoot.com, did you say Jay and Saw Bob are, quote, looking clown shoes? Yeah. Really? Pink cat, final answer, all right. Hold on one second. Ready Mix 160, thank you for the donation. I don't know what to say either. I don't even know what to do with my hands sometimes. All right, pink cat. Let me get it. Uh, pink cat is right here. Ah, I kept it the same. Got gotcha, you good. I have to reshuffle though. All right, congratulations, hype up Warkov. He got the fantastic Games Workshop book prize pack. Boom. Oh. That's a good one. I don't know. I would want the books. <laughs> I know. I kept it the same. You just never know. Sneaky cats are sneaky. Congratulations. Make sure you whisper me your real name and mailing address. Alright. Let's shuffle these up. Because Pink Cat... How do I do this? Turn that off, I guess? No? Yeah, there we go. Okay, turn it off. Got it. Alright, I'm going to shuffle. And then it's Tim the Great. Where is it? Okay. Alright, Tim the Great. Pick a cat, any cat, and then say final answer. 
if you get a blank, you'll just get to pick again. It's no big deal. So one of these, Tim, okay, or right, White Cat, that's fine. You, uh, hold on, let me let me explain it. So one of these is blank, but if you pick it, it's fine. You just get another pick. Right, you can pick any one. You're just not going to not get nothing. Uh, I will not send you a cat. I like my cats. <laughs> All right, so which one do you want, Tim? White cat still or no? <laughs> Tim says I'll take the free cat. No, you don't. You don't want that evil. Trust me. White cat. All right, fine. We got you. All right, white cat. Where are you at? White Cat is the Astartes Armored Assault prize pack. Congratulations. First try. Boom. <laughs> Congratulations. Hype that man up. I have to send him more stuff. <laughs> there is no such thing as a free cat. Like, you're stuck with it for, like, at least ten years. So many Marines. So many Marines. <laughs> Tim, send me your at send me your address. I think I know it, but send it again. Whisper it to me. Marines. Alright. I think that's it on the giveaways. Let's do some hobby and stuff. I think we might go over a little bit tonight. That's okay. All right, back to the paint table. <laughs> My dogs would love and hate a cat. Yeah, don't don't do that. Yeah, that was crazy. That was crazy good luck. 1.8%. And you nailed it. Nice. Congratulations. Oh. And you quite possibly might get the top donator as well. All right. Yeah, I mean, somebody could come over top on the top top donator. And that's We're going to go for at least 10 more minutes. Well, probably more than that. Because you gotta give me a ride. I'm way too big to drive to the Dallas house. <laughs> drive, monkey, drive! Twinner Irvin, thank you for the donation. That's the other half of the Basement Collective. They have a great stream they just started. Make sure you check them out. I think it, what is it? Is it Twinner 103? Is the which one's your actual channel stream thing? Either way, thank you. I feel like cats are pretty good. All right, so we're gonna get, we're gonna finish this up. Then we're gonna do uh, some work in progress stuff. And then we're gonna hand it off to somebody out there in creative for this evening. Okay. Yep, Twitter one hundred three. Okay, perfect. You should set a time on the top donor. You guys are all sorts of full of suggestions. I like it. Keep them coming. Oh, Kenny's back. The show can continue. <laughs> I don't know where you went. Why would you leave me without a dope pizza step two? <laughs> Was that the booze library? It's a magical place. I have one right down the street from me. On a Saturday night, it's pretty much a nightclub. 
That's what it feels like sometimes. Alright, so we have two choices here. We can go with Army Painter, Battlefield Tufts of this crazy, like, winner. Or we can go with, I think this is... What is this? Wasteland? I think this is Wasteland. I'm doing my winner. part. I'm doing Frozen. my part. I'm doing my part, too. Max GM... I don't, I don't know what that's supposed to be. I'm sorry. I'm too old for some of these usernames. <laughs> but thank you for the follow, just the same. Army Peter Wasteland, yep. So I'm kind of, I'm kind of feeling, I'm kind of feeling the darker one here. Now I know, back in the day, I used the static clock, the green stuff from GW, because that's all we had, right? I was like, well, that's all we got. I guess I'll go with it. But it's not exactly the best. Let's be honest. So when we put Karn down on here, this is kind of what we're at. And I'll probably put this in the front. So he'll kind of be like right here. Might have to shave that down a little bit too. So I feel like we can put a couple tufts like right here and right here. And it won't mess anything up. Normally I would do this after I affix the model to the base. And to do that you just basically take an X-Acto blade. And very carefully and forcefully yell out I need an adult. While, <laughs> while pressing firmly down on the blade against the base. And if all goes well and you stay perpendicular and flush. You should slice it right down perfectly. And separate him from the base. If things do not go well, well, oof, sorry for you. <laughs> That's the only way I know how to do this. I guess you could snap the base off, like cut around it, but I feel like you might wreck the model too. So here's the secret tech right here. Here's the hobby hack. You want to go to Walmart, pick you up some Elmer's glue, because believe it or not, this is actually the best stuff for the Tufts. It is literally the best stuff. Now it's going to look <laughs> all white and milky at first. But over time, it will dry completely clear and you don't have to worry about it. Just like Elmer's glue is supposed to, believe it or not. So I'm going to dab off a little bit out here on this palette. A.K.A. construction paper. Open up my pack. Battlefield Tufts. Yeah, Super Glue, actually, funny story, was created to, uh, for, as a battlefield aid on, you know, the real army, not the Toy Soldiers Army, to um, help seal up wounds, believe it or not, in World War One, I, I think it was. So it makes a great way to seal up those crazy X-Acto Blade cuts. I've done it many a times. Just apply a little bit of uh, Zip Kicker, you know, just watch your flesh kind of melt together. I'm doing my part. Nothing bad can happen. my part. I'm doing my part too. Tanner Man, thank you for the follow. We are doing some crazy tufting right now. So there's a big tuft. We're going to use some uh, tweezers, aka the cat removal, cat hair removal system. And we're just going to dunk this in a little Elmer's glue. And then, wow! Actually, I should have an X Acto blade to mash that down. But we will do our due diligence with just the tweezers. So remember, Karn is going to go right there. We'll put another one right there. Maybe smaller. Actually, let's let's double up. Double up. Oh. I don't know what that is. That looked a little wonky. We're going to skip that one. Basically, we're just taking it off the we're taking off the sheet here. I'm doing my part. I'm doing my part. I'm doing my part too. Some bad angles on these guys. Remember, don't be afraid to just throw throw some tufts away. Happily confused. Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the hobby rapport. We're finishing up some basing Karn the Betrayer. All right. So there's a little one. We're just gonna tuck this in on this rock where you probably expect to find. Normally I would have an X-Acto blade. To 
kind of dab that down, really mash it in there, but it's just not having any part of it. So we're just going to try again with a different tuft. Sometimes these tufts are a little tricky. Just a little practice. You just got to stay with it. You got to want it. Right there. Boom. Perfect. Nailed it. First try even. <laughs> and then we're going to take a big one and put a put a big one over here. But the key here is not using super glue. That's that's the key, really. Then can use super glue to affix your model, but using super glue on these just doesn't seem to work out very well for for me. This this white glue will dry clear. Trust me. I'm allegedly a hobby expert, but I do want to get it around that lip right there. So we're just going to let that do its thing. Boom, there it is. Our base is now done. We're going to let that dry. We're going to finish up the rest of the homework on Mr. The Betrayer, all the bone detail. We're going to do the plasma glow cables. We've done the crazy demon stuff up here. We're going to do the tassels. Oh, these Army Painter ones are way better. Now, there's also Gamer Grass, which I haven't used personally yet. I would love to. I just I can't buy it in store, so I'm pretty much a path of least resistance when it comes to things sometimes. But if they send me some, I'd totally use it. Maybe I'll just order some. I don't know. But right now, I'm digging the Army Painter stuff just fine. We're going to finish up all of the bone detail for next time. We're going to showcase this as a finished product. Uh, based and separated on that base I just did right there. Now tonight we showed you how to do the red detail work. Just edging right there and up top using the fantastic Kador red base from Privateer. Yeah, Percy Bell, 1978. Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the Hobby Report. You've just earned yourself one catnap. That's our channel currency. She can use for all our giveaways and things like that. We were doing basing tonight with some Army Painter Wasteland Tufts using Elmer's glue, aka PVA glue, aka buy it from Walmart. It's like a dollar. Seriously. Super cheap. Alright, tomorrow. At 11 p.m. Eastern will be our uh, Adult Swim, our Long War Adult Swim, our Robbie B. and Chill. Make sure to check that out. We're going to hit up the Work in Progress Gallery right now. Oh, yeah, Kenny, Kenny talks about that stuff a lot. I should just be like, yo, yo, dog, send me some. Word. Gotcha, Kenny. Um, all right, let's look at the gallery real quick. So many layers, so much going on. All right, let's get rid of the raffle. There we go. Boom. Okay, we got a few we haven't done here yet. McLovin, McCheese, Ortega's Malifaux. Nice. Love that warband. Oh, yeah, that's looking good. Yo, dog, you can paint. <laughs> Look at that. You know what tufts are. It's looking great. I love the leather. I mean, the, everything is very well done here. From the trench coat to the black highlights on the pants. You got the flesh going on. I know you said that's work in progress. It's okay. Wow, that's, that's really good, dude. Very impressed. Very impressed. Alright.
What do we got here? Ah, oh, some blood ball. Was that a blitzer? I think that's a blitzer. Or a blitzer. Very cool. Love the blue. Love the tan. So that was that number 12 right there. That's 12. Orc flesh looking on point. Very cool stuff. Just got to base him. Some, some AstroTurf there. Who's that? Hood's Gate. Nice. Good job. Orc Bronco. Oh, I see what you did there. Very nice. Darth Puppy. <laughs> Looks very warm. The opposite of what I am. <laughs> Agent Arrow says, bro, give me some gamer grass. I think you have to always substitute bro for dog. Give me some gamer grass so I can go beast mode on some bases. I guarantee you will get some. <laughs> I'll try it. We'll see what's up. Death Puppy Tie Winning. We like we like dogs. We like cats. We like cats more, but it's okay. It happens. I have no idea what this is. Is this a ghoul? Is this a crypt ghoul? A purple crypt ghoul? Yep, sure is. Oh, got that green fades on it. There you go. That is looking sick. Can't wait to see that finished. <laughs> Mechanicus puppy. <laughs> Who's that? M. Morris 09A7. Very cool. That's fine. It's a good picture. Kind of like your, your Joker Crip Ghouls. I like it. Dapper Granite. Probably said that wrong. Oh yeah, some Thousand Suns, Terminators. What is that, the Hellfire Missiles? I like it. I like that, uh, that different, was that like a bronze? I can't place that, that trim color on the Thousand Sun Terminator. Agent Air, I, I, I think it'll be okay. I don't think uh <laughs> I don't think Kenny will get mad at me. It's looking good. Man, chaos models, so much trim. Much chaos, many trim. And another from Dapper. Tyranid Gant. Tyrmagant. Some classic high fleet cracking colors right there. Loving it. Very cool stuff. Thank you so much for sharing that. Very cool stuff there. Just got to base it. And you probably need like 60 more. But that's okay. No pressure. <laughs> Great beginning to a Tyranid army right there. Alright, that is the gallery. That is the gallery. Alright, so cat box giveaway... Here's what we had. Orange cat. Space. Pink cat. The dirty, dirty Xenos. So we'll be back with some more giveaways on Friday. Of course, top donor giveaway, as always, will be happening tomorrow night. Robbie B and Chill. The Long War Adult Swim starting at 11 p.m. So I think it's raiding time. What do you guys think? Definitely raiding time. Thank you to everybody that donated in the stream. All the great followers. We are getting so close to 1,000 followers. It's been a privilege. This Actually, I didn't want to say anything, but this marks the one month anniversary that we've been on Twitch. It's been an exciting journey, to say the very least. And I can't wait to continue to stream with you all. And bring you all this hobby goodness throughout 2017. Um, please, everybody, whisper me if you haven't already with your addresses and the things you won. 
Looks like Tim the Great got... Did Tim the Great get the top donor here? It looks like it. So we'll cut it off right there. You are the final winner on the top donator giveaway. Thank you, everybody else that donated tonight. Thank you for all the shots. I am definitely warm now. Thank you very much. I can go to I can go to bed a happy man. <laughs> uh, good times. Good times, everybody. All right, let's go raid somebody. Who we got? Who do we got? Oh, man, so many whispers open. All right, stay with me a second. Soon we will have our own emotes to go raid people. It will be fantastic. There will be cats all over the place. All right. Looks like somebody's painting some... Hmm. There's somebody painting some wolf in. Oh, yeah. All right, get ready to raid. We're going to go raid Synapse 88, painting some wolf in. Man, after my own heart right there. All right, good night, everybody. Thanks for watching. Get those cat dogs ready. Deleted scenes, bonus content, and all the interviews and post-game wrap-up videos can be located in the Hall of Veterans on thelongward.net. Visit thelongward.net today and try a week completely free with no strings attached. That's not all. TheLongWord.net is also your hobby resource for exclusive early access with an ad-free experience to all your favorite videos. Members of the Hall of Veterans gain early exclusive access to multiple hobby videos.